I've even got a pencil. I'm glad you got a pencil. Welcome to Master the Game on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, you might be watching on Twitch for a couple days. Otherwise, you're probably watching on YouTube. If you're new, smash that subscribe button. Give us a like. Uh, and if you're on Twitch, you can just follow us. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that's fine too. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, with that, uh, we are back for Octung Cthulhu. This will be our second week with Octung Cthulhu, the Blackheart Crucible. Uh, we've been playing Pulp Cthulhu for 28 episodes before this. Uh, you can see the, the back uh, log of videos over on YouTube. You won't want to miss that. But if you want to see the short uh, versions of it where it takes the highlights, go over to BN Drake's YouTube channel where you can watch the funnier, far more entertaining short versions uh, with fun little music clips and movie clips and uh, commentary over the video. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, with that, Peter, go ahead and take it away. All right. Uh, thanks, Juice. I appreciate that. Uh, those kind words. I don't know if that will do anything for your character tonight. You but, know, uh, I do want to say you, your logo that you have now is amazing as well. Yes, that was right. Why? Uh, that was an excellent logo. Uh, Whoever made that must have uh, spent minutes. Yeah, on I know. <laughs> exactly. And you, too, can get a logo like that if you become a patron on Juice's uh, 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 patron Patreon. Yeah. There you go. I'll do it. <laughs> all, all right, right so the recap, it is right? <laughs> it is octon cthulhu the black heart crucible session 30 time for the recap uh we ended up in sweden and some jeep was stuck was that wasn't that how it started last time yeah 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 you yeah you wanted to fight somebody yeah, well, I tried them. to be nice. I tried to help them get the jeep out, and then they they threatened us by pulling a gun on us. Now Blake, Blake ain't no ain't no punk. He's not a bitch. So when someone pulls a gun on him, he's gonna punch him in the fucking face, and he, that's what he did, you know. And um, I also, I, I don't think everybody quick. agreed with his choice of action, but at least the Canadian on the other side apologized to Blake. And and, and quick quick over. quick just. Uh, point of note um, trivia for those at home like a grease gun is not actually a grease gun I know you think it is because like I thought it was too right <laughs> it's not so just bear that in mind when you go and watch the recap it'll make much more sense so <laughs> but yeah and then I punched him out and then he second guessed us again and started asking us about you know when the Detroit Tigers won the World Series and the Montreal Canadiens won you know the Stanley Cup in the 40s and then uh, Bill had a great one-liner about the bars one, uh, like his insignia, because he's the captain. <laughs> he basically started calling them all soft and uh, told them that they lacked discipline, and they yeah, cowed down to him. What yeah. they had there was a failure to uh, communicate. Mm-hmm. 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 And then we, I think, took their Jeep. Yeah. No, we actually made them drive. We, yes, yeah, we, common, true. we, we didn't even steal their, their Jeep, Jeep, but we, yes. made we commandeered them their drive Jeep it. and driver. <laughs> yeah, right. And right. they're Canadian. Right. True. Uh, PFC Tim Horton, Timmy Horton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, right. he's outranked me still. The NPC <laughs> driver still outranks me. The one I punched out, I think. Well, that's how you gain ranks, right? You have to knock knock the people above you and you right. take their ranks. <laughs> that was how we played a Gif Yankee game like about seven years ago on uh, a streamed game. You had to beat the person above you to take their rank. There's a lot of people. Like, like Sith. Basically, <laughs> yeah. you're all Sith. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I did have a character cut in half, though. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah. <laughs> After stealing the jeep, we uh, ended up going to the north, right, to another another little am where they had said they had last contact with the enemy. And uh, I believe whose character spotted it was it. Bill. It was actually Luther. It was, oh, actually yeah, Luther. it was actually yeah. Luther. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, but I mean that makes sense, right? Like yeah. Luther's mm -hmm. watching for snipers all the time to make sure that. <laughs> Putting, uh, oh, you're not looking for snipers. And, you're looking for people who drop their Xanax out of their purse. <laughs> yeah, but it's 1946. I don't even. In think World Xanax War II, there were tons of drugs. 
<laughs> yeah, but not specifically Xanax, though, right? right? Like, I mean, yeah. like maybe morphine. morphine, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> they did something well, I mean, that was like an upper, too. Like, they all had meth. They, like, they, yeah, they right. gave all the soldiers meth on both sides. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. German Panzer chocolate was just, you know, meth inside of chocolate. Okay, point of order. Uh, <laughs> point of order, Peter. Luther is going to be looking for uh, chocolate. German Pens supply chocolate. chocolate for the entire uh, campaign. They're called okay. Wonka bars. Yeah. We're just going to call them Wonka yeah. bars. Yeah, yeah. Nobody in the 40s will get that reference, though. I don't think. When was the book written? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, a sniper was spotted and uh, shot at a lot. And then we decided to make sure he was good and dead. And so... Uh, you know, Jacques Clebum uh, ran up and threw a stick of dynamite in the building and then almost proceeded to get blown up. This is a common reoccurring theme with Jacques. He uh, tends to almost get blown up a lot. Probably with explosions that he's setting. <laughs> yeah, I think that was that's fairly accurate. Yeah, right. And then, <laughs> then 13 showed up, right? And wouldn't uh, share his uh, romaine lettuce, I think, was, the, or did you show up? Before? No, you showed up before that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I showed up because uh, uh, 13 landed a bit away from you. Yeah. Um, so he was with you guys as you were, um, as we encountered the sniper um, after the Jeep. And then we stopped and saw the, uh, the uh, a hut on the side of the road um Bobby Yaga yeah right. Bobby Yaga yeah yep, yep. and we went uh into the hut um and uh it turned out to be a witch or a hag of sorts and uh nice <laughs> she wasn't uh she wasn't particularly threatening but she did have this back room which I believe Blake um Blake and and somebody else went and saw the back room shrunken did skulls I? and it was a bunch of shrunken skulls I don't think I went back there. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Which, which really wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But like, she was really unattractive. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, like oh, Luther was all about it. it was all the, private Luther and, tried to uh, go right Canadian. back in after we had already left. <laughs> I know Luther did, because then you know things started showing up, and so of course Luther ran back in. Hey, yeah. you can turn the lights off. That's all I'm saying. And then it doesn't yeah. matter what they look like. I, I think you, you said you, that then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You can turn the lights off, but you can still feel that wart graze past your cheek. Yeah, and, and sure. you know what it is. And smell the pickles. Yeah, right. Like yeah. That. yeah. Speaking. Yeah. Speaking of, there was uh, we there was um, I think we saw some some dead bodies animating, um, and then a swarm of pickled fingers uh, started like wriggling out of the snow, um, and then we got approached. A car drove by with this figure. <clears throat> Um, who appeared to be wielding some some sort of sorcery or magic, um, and uh, he made things worse. I don't remember what he did, um, other than like make maybe make more bodies come up. Pickled goblin fingers. Yeah. So we shot out his car. Um, and, and Blake Blake suplexed a, a zombie into the car, didn't he? Oh, like, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. On top of the, the, yeah, it was the car because the jeep didn't work at the time, and then everyone was like, "No, not the car." <laughs> that car was messing us up, though. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, but we can't use the car because it has that nastiness in it. We think. Uh, also, thirteen shot at the engine with the blue light special. Um, yes. So yeah, but it them. like it did some sort of sparkling thing where like didn't it regenerate though? Oh yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, there right. was some funkiness going on. At which point, Jacques decided it was a good idea to uh, get a stick of dynamite inside the car at this time. Yes. Instead of underneath the car. Yes, and I think we are all. Which, we were, at that point, everyone finally was all in favor of that. <laughs> yeah, I believe a door hit somebody though, because like Jacques gave uh, gave Peter some some points to use and avoided it, and some poor bastard behind Jacques caught a door. <laughs> that would be uh, knocked out. <laughs> no, that would be thirteen and um, the uh, Canadian, the hag woman, the uh, the Norse. Oh, witch. that's right, I forgot. 
<laughs> the witch straight up took a car door on the chin and was like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Went, Those back damn to, kids. went back to harvesting fingers. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. She was eating them. Like, As she, she was harvesting them. Yeah. 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 And nobody has seen hide nor hair of Nova. Like, well, Lieutenant Reisman has, but he doesn't know where she went. And uh, we're, like, the old hag woman, you know, has no idea. So we did learn from her, though, that like there's more to the the Norse burial ground up there in the the town we're headed to. Like, it's a kind of a site of power, I guess. <clears throat> so we may run into more cultists. Yeah, and this, oh, that, that's right, uh, 13 detected uh, this 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 hag woman uh, was using the Norse magic. That's right. So. All right. So uh, we ended with, uh, as Blake had suplexed, the zombie that uh, was in the vehicle that was blown up. Well, I guess he wasn't a zombie. Whoever was in the vehicle and blown up, he got back up and was holding an amulet that he ripped off his neck, uh, was hanging around his neck. Uh, Blake grabbed him and suplexed him through a jagged piece of the car going through his chest, and the, he kind of disintegrated. And then you watched as the black moss seemed to grow on Blake's, come up Blake's leg, and like behind him are forming like wings at this point. Oh, right. How did I forget that? <laughs> Maybe I thought it was a dream. <laughs> uh, so we pick it up uh, so right I have there. Wings. You don't know this. You don't notice this. Everybody else looking at you does. The wings are like behind you. Are they like attached to him, or are they like incorporeal kind of like? Wings? No, they look like they look like regular wings. <laughs> like, are they bat wings, angel wings? Draconic. Uh, I think they're close. Or they're probably closer to black uh, bat wings. Mm. Hey, uh, Blake, you got a little something on you. Just want to, might want to. I reach back and start it in the back <laughs> of my head. I don't feel anything. <laughs> yeah, it's right. You know, like. It's on your back. It just got some schmutz on your like. Just yeah, it, you, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. Do you want to get it's it great. off for me, Luther? No, uh, no. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm Come on, good. get it I, off. I like back I, up I'm, towards I'm Luther. Good. <laughs> Luther, Luther literally backs away. Uh, no, man, it's, it's good. Uh, it's fine, dude. Yeah. Luther, nothing grosses you out. What's going on? Is it that gross? What's going on? I here? run. Luther runs back into the cabin. Is there any <laughs> like? Is there a piece of reflective glass, a piece of like stainless steel, a mirror, anything that oh, would yeah, reflect yeah. image? Yeah, there's a mirror. I mean, you know. Uh, okay, Luther runs into the cabin, grabs the mirror, and just like sort of he's coming out and kind of showing it to Blake. Like, do I see it? Look, man. Uh, you look into the mirror, you don't see anything. It looks, you don't see any wings or anything. It looked, it looks fine. I, I don't understand. Dude, you, Seriously, you don't see the giant, leathery, evil-looking wings sprouting. Are you from having your back? a bad trip, Luther? I, uh, Blake, I wish I was. Right? I mean, like, I, I think you are, man. I think you I, are. I really, I really wish I was. Jacques, will you tell the man what you see? Uh, yes, uh, that is most problematic. I what? would uh, suggest a surgery to remove them, but uh, I do not. Hey, that's a good to, uh, surgeon. Look. Yes, but I would get to see uh, the spores all over me. Oh. What are you talking about, spores? I would need a, uh, you know, how there's you say, nothing uh, on my back. Soup? No, there, there is most definitely something on your back. I think that Luther slipped something into your drink. Or possibly uh, Jacques, that's not just Jacques a cigar. is going to pick up a dead goblin finger and like throw it at the wings and see if it bounces off the wings. <laughs> um, it, it hits it and then becomes absorbed in it. Sacre <laughs> bleu. I, I think your, your cigars are laced over there. Blake, did you not just see that finger absorb into that shit? Do we, do no, we, you just do threw we, it into I the dark. Like, do me a favor. Just, like, hear me out. 
don't don't walk under Zen low hanging this, tree. Right? I want you to just like think you can fly. Concentrate on flying and see what happens. Just, Dude, just do it, man. I'm not on just drugs. I'm not on just, drugs. Just try. Just try really hard. Like That's, you know, like okay. How about this? Fine. Do this. Fine. Like, I'll try. Like, oh. like just roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders oh. like this. There you go. Yep. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Do the wings you move at all here? Does that work for you, Luther? Do you just imagine you can fly, and then when you're tripping, you just start flying? Like I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe that all happens in his head. <laughs> does does uh, does thirteen recognize or? Can he discern if this this like kind of the nature of this illusion or or this magic like does it have the same uh, kind of residues that the hag did as far as like Norse magic or is this something else? This is yeah, this is something else. But this is in the line of black magic and how this moss uh, just um, reacts and uh, interacts with the victim. I see. Well, Blake, Luther and Jacques are not wrong. You have some sort of wings on your back. I'm going to, uh, and 13 is going to start like kind of not getting up in your space, but he's going to start like doing like a head to toe check looking for like the, the black moss um, like attached to you. Yes, you are uh, how you Americans say uh, up the uh, sheep creek without a paddle. Yeah, I think we need to cut him off. I'm telling you, I think we, I just, I just cut him off real quick. Luther, before it starts. what in the no? Like, what if it grows, man? Like, Luther, there's like no we gotta. Do I see the black moss on my legs? Yeah, yeah. Luther, I'm not cutting my legs off. <laughs> no, the the wings, the mossy wings that are growing on your back, man. I um, could perform a amputation. I am not letting Luther anywhere near me with a knife. That's all. No, I'm no, ja the surgeon, Jacques Claboom. Yes, like, I am a surgeon. Do, do I surgeon. trust that he is a good surgeon? <laughs> He's certified <laughs> in another <laughs> world. <laughs> Peter, do I Scott. trust that he's a good surgeon? I don't know. Does Blake? Uh, he's, he's I not, happen to have a no. Uh, I don't think he's no, five medical degrees in uh, multiple different dimensions. Last he's time we let you do a surgery, I was stuck somewhere for six months, and then I ended up in this place. I All right, but look at look at it, you. Blake. Look at it this way: you don't even think that they're there, so you're not going to feel anything. Just yeah, sort of just exactly. humor us. Exactly. I'm not just letting him hack us. into my shoulder blades. No. Uh. Uh. For something that's not there. Absurd. You know what, Blake? Okay, do this. Like, are, are the wings, like, spread? Are they, like... You know what I'm saying, Peter? Like, like how wide is this wingspan? Uh, it's not very wide, but it seems to be growing. Okay. So, here's what I want you to do, Blake. Just... Go walk through the door to the to the shack here. Luther, and see what I'm happens. not playing your little game. No, just walk I'm not through the door. It. I'm not there's like, no I'm reason. Not... I know there's no wings there. You see the old uh, Norse woman who, I guess, uh, now looks about fifty, stops from her mid chew. Oh man, if we hang out long enough, she's uh, she's yeah. Come almost... this way, my my friend. Come this way, and she points at uh, Blake. I can take that care of that for you. There you There's go. nothing to take care of. What, the moss on my legs? You can get rid of that? I can get yeah, rid of it Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah. I'll let you get rid of the moss on my legs. I don't know what the hell everyone's talking about with these, like, wing things. <laughs> <She's, that you laughs> I'm not playing a bunch of games, me, though, for that. But she can feel me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I honestly, I don't play them. Like, I, like, <laughs> I mean, it's a supernatural thing, so I'm assuming, you know, the legs have to go. Besides, it's been a long time. Okay, 13? It's been a um, really long time. It's been at least six end. months that we were in whatever, the catamaran or whatever the hell. I don't know, man. Calico. I was having a great time with Debbie. Like, I, I don't know what you were doing. but uh, Now I'm in yeah. the military, so I know it's going to be at least another six months before I'm home. So with her bowl of pickled goblin fingers, uh, she is standing outside in the, the doorway and just, like, beckoning you to come in. Oh, I go. Uh, you you hear the lieutenant? Oh, terribly sorry about this. Terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be. 
Um, and you enter the hut. What happens with the wings when he tries? They kind of hit the side of the hut. Uh, and like flap back and then do they make any sound does he like does it impede him in any way um <laughs> and right. some of the hut is damaged and she closes the door like and it's crooked hanging down <laughs> so creepy look what you did to her daughter I'm inside the uh, building I didn't hear that <laughs> Oh. Okay, just oh. sort of like oh. out of character, out of game. Can can I just make a comment? Like, Jason's dog is just living his best fucking life ever. <laughs> like, I like that is just like, Are you like jealous? literally. I am. I, am. I, I seriously am. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, I don't even let my dog on the furniture. <laughs> Good luck keeping that one off the furniture. <laughs> so, as you guys are. Um, see Blake go in, uh, you hear a vehicle oh, okay, coming down the road, like one. from the way you came. Does it sound like a military vehicle or does it sound like, you know, can I tell? I guess what I'm yeah, saying, it do sounds I hear like, or? Yeah, it sounds like a diesel engine of like uh, a deuce and a half. Okay. All right. Uh, well, Luther's heading into the shack with, uh, he follows uh, Blake into the shack because, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be outside, so. Doc's kind of hiding behind a tree, waiting to see if he needs to throw more dynamite. And uh, I guess 13 would be uh, hiding um, kind of behind whatever wreckage of the car there is. Does it sound like a Mercedes diesel or a <laughs> Volvo diesel? <laughs> it sounds like American diesel. Oh, wow. I believe okay. it sounds like it. Oh, what did those have in them? So as uh, Luther, as you go control. to try to get in the shack, for some reason the door just doesn't open. What? Like it's rickety, and like you should be able to push this over with like, you know, you breathe on it the wrong okay. way and it'll fall over. But suddenly it just won't open. So Luther's immediate thought is, well, fuck, I'm screwed. But then Luther has Luther actually, against his better judgment, thinks, oh fuck, Blake is in there by himself like I will so um I, he'll like call over to Jacques um kind of like whispering like the door is locked we've talk inside <laughs> that is not good but we have another problem yeah, but he could be shrinking Blake's head I do not know what to do it's like Beetlejuice <laughs> with the like powder on the head hey what are you doing uh is there a window by the door anywhere like is there a window uh, yeah yeah it's, a hut. it's got a window yeah can i i'm just gonna kind of like i'm good so i'm gonna stay low and try to peek into the window i i think i'm more concerned about blake's head getting shrunk at this point than some uh you know <laughs> than than a, a truck showing up so because does, uh, is Blake aware of the shrunken heads? No, he didn't go in, right? It was just me and Timmy Horton. Oh, yeah. Uh, you see uh, Blake in there. It looks like he's like signing some paperwork or something. <laughs> does he look to... Like, can I do... Is there an insight check? Or is yeah, there like, yeah. There, yeah, you could... Uh, uh, I just want to see if he looks distressed. Like, I, I, clearly he's you signing could, yeah, a pack you with could the do, devil, but uh, like... Insight, uh, persuasion, or observation? Observation. And it's okay. a, the difficulty is two. So I have plus two to that. Oh, that's bonus damage. Never mind. Okay, so um, observation. I have, I have three ranks in observation, though. So. Yeah, so um, you add that number. Yep. So it was like 11 or something. Yep. Uh, all right. So I rolled, and I'm rolling two twenties, right? Correct. Uh, I rolled a seventeen and a twelve. Okay. And what what did you need? Eleven. I needed uh, yes, an eleven. Okay. Which means I failed, right? Because yeah, I, I, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's 
Uh, it seems he doesn't seem like he's distressed. All right, fine, fine. He looks fine. I'm boy, I'm ducking down. Yeah, yeah. He's into it. Uh, clearly, he's signing like an NDA, and he can't. Uh, yeah, right, so you cannot tell anybody what you're about to see. Uh, you hear the doors of this truck uh, open because they're super loud and close, and. Uh, you see a couple of figures get out and start walking your way. They're about 20 yards away. Do we see They look uniforms? like they have allied uniforms. Oh, nice. All right. Oh. Uh, they just seem to be like one of them has a, uh, a pipe and the other one is wearing a cowboy hat. Like, Bonjour, monsieur. It looks very much like um, Snake. Oh, how y'all doing there, little French buddy? This sort of resistance came. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, we are taking a moment here. Uh, we just had a bit of a gunfight. You can see the uh, wrecked uh, Mercedes over there. Gunfight? Whew. Well, it was more of a dynamite fight, but. (laughs) Jolly good. Jolly good. Is there a Tim Horton around here? Jolly good. (laughs) Yeah, Tim's Uh, around here somewhere. (laughs) Yes, I believe the uh, private Horton is around here somewhere. He takes a puff. Sergeant Myers. A pleasure. Jacques Recrevue. Well. Jock. He uh, walks over to um, Snake. Go, uh, go see about that uh, uh, Private Horton, would you? Yep. Jolly good, jolly good. All right, all right. Let's see if I can find old Tim around here somewhere. Well, much apologies. Sorry, sir. <laughs> can I, like, listen for... Or look for Tim, or whatever. Yeah, I'm he comes about. running. Yeah, he he he's like he comes running over. He's he's uh he was trying to guard the jeep, but uh, you know it's got like black moss on it. And then he's like he was checking on. Uh, he was then guarding the hut, and then uh, checking in with uh, the lieutenant. And like he just seems out of breath. Uh, uh, okay. What are you doing there, Private? Just, uh, whatever they ask. No, like, what were you just doing? You're all windy. Yeah, look just... Like, look like a stout tumbleweed knock you right on over. I could sit for a spell. Walk this way. I, let's go back here. I keep an eye on you. Okay. I'll lead him over. Is there like any trees and stuff around the shack? Yeah, there, yeah. There's a bunch of trees. Um, yeah. All oh, right, this way. We'll go sit a spell in the shade. Okay. I do not uh, believe the uh, Tim Horton is very bright. It is dark outside. There's not shade. <laughs> It's always shady under a nice shade tree. <laughs> Thirteen comes out from behind the uh, the the busted up Mercedes snake. Good to see you made it through. Oh, how you doing there? Last time I seen you, you was a potato. Yes. Well. Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> Thankfully, that's no longer the case. How did you make it through here? Did you come through Calico as well? I suppose. That was there was some kind of box, and then there was like massive fight, and then there was like a portal. I didn't want to come in here, but I think Blake shoved me. Really? 
that. You might want to go keep an eye on him. He's shifty. Is it this Blake or a different one? I believe it was the one shooting the Luthers. How many Blakes you got here? Hmm. Well, we have at least one that I know of. If there's a second one, well, it will require some looking into. <laughs> I say, who's in charge of this operation here? Jolly good, yes. Uh, he is, yeah. So <laughs> you see, Luther. <laughs> yeah, you see Luther <laughs> duck down on the side of the shack, trying to hide between some, like, you know, some brush. But as soon as, like, Jacques kind of points him out, uh, Luther kind of slowly, like, he first he looks kind of shocked, and then he sort of slowly rises up and straightens himself. Uh, me? <laughs> jolly good, jolly good, sir. I'm Sergeant Myers. Uh, Sergeant, perhaps you could lend me a hand. I believe that one Her of Majesty's, my... uh, Section M Royal, uh, Infantry. Yeah, uh, we were uh, the 101st, actually uh, 101.2. Uh, don't question, oh, don't worry good, about it. Good, yeah. uh, but but one of my men, I'm, I suspect that one of my men is actually fraternizing with the enemy inside of this shack here, and I can't seem to get in. Would you help me? Uh, could you could you possibly, uh, could we get this door open? Oh, oh, jolly good. You want in on this too, yes. Oh, uh, of course. Well, somebody has to supervise it, so I'll uh, <laughs> I'll stand back and make sure that uh, you know that it's open in the proper manner because we don't want any undue uh, damage to civilian property. You know, like it's just it's it's a whole big thing. I don't want to fill out the paperwork. I know you don't want to fill out the paperwork. It's fine. Good. Jolly good. Yes. And Eternity suits could be a problem here. Yes, jolly good, yes. And, and I'll take a quick look, glance in the window. Do I still see Blake and the the woman? Uh, there looks like they're drinking something and just like chatting it up like two old buddies. <laughs> does the woman still appear to be 50 or does she appear to be younger? Uh, no, she looks about 50. Okay. All right. So I'm, is, just gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tap, on the, on, I'm gonna tap on the window a little bit. Like, just like... <clears throat> They don't, they seem to, they're like ignoring you. <laughs> of course. That's about right. That's part <laughs> yeah, of right. That's, Yeah, yeah. It's actually about right. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Next step is dynamite. Like I'm just saying, oh, if you can't get the door that open. That, 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 uh, how you say what a uh, obliterate uh, break in the inside. Uh, yeah, okay. That's true maybe sort of um all right uh let's try to get the door open can i uh also why were you looking for uh why were you looking for uh timmy horton there why were you looking for private horton well he's been reassigned well he's my oh, personal yeah. attack he is my personal attache and uh i i like i, I don't i he's jolly really good, jolly good, then he'll good at it he's really good at it so uh i like why do you need him well if he's your, you're the commanding officer, then he's your uh, attache. Uh, good, jolly good, jolly good. He's also very popular in the chat, so very good. He'll stay, very good, yeah, jolly good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Timbits. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, we got to get in the door. Let's get in the door. You know what? This is the type of thing that Horton's really good at. Like, let's, Horton. Front and center, buddy. You're you're on deck. We need to Horton. get this. We need to get this door open. Maggot is back there, and uh, he may be in danger and or in a compromising position. Either way, we need to get this door open. And we need to supervise this compromising position. Sure, yes. jolly good. We don't need it, any more injuries. Yes, exactly. See, I, man, I man, I, I I love the Brits. They're fantastic. Now uh, make like a pair of claw and uh, slash this door now. <clears throat> uh, so. Horton comes uh, out from where he's speaking to the snake and runs. Oh, well, what 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 do you need now? <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, we we need that door open, Private Horton. Yes, this is a lieutenant. You cannot expect him to open a door himself. Exactly. I'll be right back with to, to you, Snake. Hold on. 
and he uh, reaches down and gets like a large tree branch and starts trying to like work the door open. <laughs> and uh, don't go, don't go down. Get the back into it. I'm sorry. What was that, uh, Private Horton? Horton hears a who? Oh. Horton here's a commanding officer. <laughs> <laughs> and he started he started to push it on the door. Uh the 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 stick like breaks in half. And then the door just opens. Uh you see Blake standing there, uh getting ready to come out. He doesn't have any wings. In fact, he has no black moss on him. Does he still have a head and is it still the see, right? See guys, size? I'm better. <laughs> Is his head like three times smaller? Or? Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> it's like our Goomba head. Oh, Tim! Uh, no. Tim Horton. No, but he does have a comb over now. <laughs> oh, I got hair now. Yes. Blake, oh. why did you why did you lock the door, buddy? I was worried about you. Well, you know, it was a personal medical matter, and you know, we just had to handle things. But Tim Horton is you, it's your turn now. I look down at Blake's legs. Does he still have the black moss on his legs? Like, I know I don't see the wings, but do I see black moss nope. on his legs? Nope. And it didn't take six months, Luther. A13, you might want to have a, <laughs> you might want to check this out. Uh, you might not have those gloves say, everywhere uh, you go. I would say a recovery time for a uh, double leg amputation should be more than uh, two months. Yeah, well, oh, I didn't no, have to lose my legs, legs over You there, doubt my so... skill. Yeah, I still have my legs. And you wanted to cut my legs off. So I believe we know who the medical expert is here. And it just happens to me, Margaret, over here. Okay? Margaret? <laughs> Margaret. Yeah, I don't know what her name is. This woman back I thought here her name was. Me. I thought her name was Hildy. Hilga? I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, right. But she was okay, great. Like she made think, she made me a drink. Like it was great. Think think about this though, Blake. If you were a double amputee, do you know how like awesome that card would be? That wrestling card, you would be no. you would be world famous, man. You would be the only double amputee wrestler in the world. Like that could that would draw crowds from all over the place. Not, not really true, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'll let you think that. <laughs> They would call him the stump air. Is there actually a double amputee wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> There's more than one, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, there, there you go. Is there a league? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. There's a guy who actually had double, double amputee. Jolly good. Jolly good. There was a guy who was in WWE with uh, one leg who's from Michigan as well, Zach Gowan. Was they call him the hot bear? <laughs> oh, that's what they call 13. <laughs> that's that's <true>. fair. <laughs> so yeah, she, I, I got my legs. Uh, didn't she, have to be stuck in some place named Calico for six months. Didn't forget my memories. I'm all here. Uh, we just have to let Tim, you know, have his time now, and then we're good. Is did you thirteen's gonna look Tim over? Did you pimp Tim's out fine. Tim Horton? Tim's fine. Did you, did you, did you seriously it's... pimp out Tim Horton? I would not do such a thing. Or... Okay. Horton, what are you doing up there? I thought I told you to get back here. Uh, he, he looks around. He what looks rank confused. is Snake? Snake, I believe, is a corporal. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'll get some NJ... Uh, piece for dealing with snake, yep. I guess. Or I don't roll. mind that one. <laughs> Your call there, Captain. Uh, damn, I hate conflict like this. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> you promise you didn't pimp out Timmy Horton? I would you never do it. such a thing. I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit of pimping. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Does Monsieur Horton have the uh, the moss on him? No, he wants Tim Horton to go in the shack to pay <laughs> off Heldy for getting rid of the moss on him. You get what I'm saying? Like, actually, why does Luther have a problem with this? This is actually brilliant. <laughs> uh, hey, Horton, come on up here. Come on. Yeah, I'm sometimes, right here. Sometimes I forget. Hey. <laughs> that I'm a scumbag. So, um, all right. Uh, <laughs> so, Horton. Uh, 
you just got gotta got think of it as like KP duty, right? Like it's fine. Think just think or, about uh, baseball or something. Uh, We're gonna leave you in here for you know I don't know however long. I imagine you last. it can't take more than four to five minutes. At yeah, best. however however at long best. you last. Timmy is fine. Um, we're gonna leave you in here, and uh, you're gonna, you know, just just show a good time, and uh, uh, we'll be outside discussing other things. So I am yeah. going to accompany you, Tim. <laughs> oh, you just did. Remember, Thirteen did, did into some weird didn't, Okay, I didn't see that coming. Thirteen, but like, <laughs> hey, like and she stop. won't either. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, good to do it. Thir- Thirteen. I hear rabbits only last for like. A couple seconds. Is that true? I don't know what you're talking about. Jacques's gonna whisper into Luther's ear. I believe we have a uh, tag team championship <laughs> of a different kind. Of That's a tag team championship I don't want. Yeah, I think uh, I think we should book the cruise uh, shortly. So uh, for for sure. Speaking of that, uh, Peter. Luther is on the the lookout for a phone, whether that be sort of a uh, you know a radio or a phone. But I need something where I can contact civilization, the real world. So there's probably some sort of radio in this truck that is still running twenty okay. yards away. Okay, so I'm telling Tim, I'm telling Tim Horton to you know go in and take care to fulfill Blake's death. Uh, and I'm going to go out to the truck and I'm going to, I'm going to try to get through to an operator so I, that I can get stateside. I need to make a call stateside. Okay. Uh, so as Horton goes to walk in, uh, followed by 13, the old woman stops and says, what are you doing? I'm curious. I'd like to at least watch. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> and I thought I was the only French man here. <laughs> oh God, it's so. She, uh, she smiles and lets you in and closes the door. It, it's so innocently awkward that like I can't. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Timmy Horton, man. He like, you know what? I'm I'm making a note. Luther is making a note to himself that he's going to write a commendation for, for Timmy Horton, um, for sure. So, yeah. Get him a purple heart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just as, yeah, just as the door is closing, uh, Lieutenant Reisman like, stops and he's like, oh, terribly sorry, and he goes in as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, sure. All right, so... Uh, Luther, you walk over to the truck. There's one soldier in there, like yep. manning it. Like. Yep. Uh, I need to. I need a landline. I need. I need a, a line stateside immediately. It's of. It's of the utmost importance. Uh, the, the literally, literally, the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Um. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me. And he gets the gets on the radio and starts uh, making a communication. And then you hear, uh, go ahead, operator. Uh, I need I need uh, a landline. I need a direct connection to Berkshire Hathaway, please. It's a military emergency. Authorization. Uh, authorization um, Alpha Bravo Echo Three Niner. All right, uh, go ahead and give me a um, insight. Uh, Persuasion. Okay. Difficulty one. Oh, difficulty one. Yeah. Uh, so th- I rolled a three. Um, and insight persuasion. Uh, eleven. Wait, eleven. Hold on. Where's my where's persuasion? Where's persuasion? It's a category. You have charm, deception, blah, 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 within persuasion. It's a skill down there. Oh, it is a pers- Okay, it's a skill. Right. Okay, so that's five. Uh, five ranks in persuasion. Um, so you, so I, I would say I killed that, yeah. So you right. rolled a three? I've rolled a three, yeah. So it was a right. critical success. So uh, you have... Uh, our apologies, uh, Major Franco. Uh, yes, uh, we will get you through immediately. Okay, okay. 
I'm waiting for, for someone to answer. Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, yes, I uh, I need to speak with a broker, please. Speaking. So um, here's what I need. I need I need to uh, to open an account, and I need to invest. Uh, I I need to buy a thousand dollars worth of shares in Pfizer. I need to buy a thousand dollars worth of shares in General Electric. I need to buy a thousand dollars worth of shares in Johnson and Johnson. All companies that have recently opened, um, and I would uh, I'd like to make sure that that account is payable to Luther Styles. Uh, make sure that it is not a Captain Franco. It is going to be payable um, to a Luther Styles. I'd actually like to hold it in trust. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's about it. If you could send me confirmation um, or give me verbal confirmation of that. Uh, I, I, I uh, Pfizer, it. General Electric, and Johnson and Johnson. Yes, sir. And Luther Styles, S T Y L E S. To be held in trust. Uh, okay, Luther Styles. Um, well, I'm Captain Franco. If anybody asks, you never spoke with Luther Styles, you know. Yeah, he's my nephew. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, well, it's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, broker client confidentiality, no problem. Yep, yep. Four two Sierra two four is your confirmation number. Perfect. Thank you. You've been you've been ever so helpful. Um, I I can't even tell you how uh, how how helpful you've been. This is this has been an amazing. Uh, I actually, you know, I I'm going to give you a glowing review. I'm going to write up a glowing review for you. It's fantastic. Anything uh, to help our service men and women fighting overseas. Thanks. We Major we, Franco, you have an excellent day. Thank absolutely. Thank you. We we appreciate you. Um, Major Franco. Captain Franco, by the way. Captain Franco. So uh, I don't have the oak leaf. I you do I realize that once they realize that there is nobody alive associated with that account, that money is just going to go away, right? Nope, absolutely not true. The the account is funded and it's held in it's held in trust. That that it's just going to continue. When does that expire, Blake? Blake, we they don't expire it continues to forever accumulate. it's just gonna sit there forever yeah because i'm not taking my dividends my dividends are just getting reinvested trust me when we get back to our time 2008 2009 you and i are going on a cruise and it's that's gonna like be 70 my... years from now it's hey. fine we're gonna get back we'll we'll, we'll get back Trust me, Blake. I trust me on this way. one. This is the only thing that Luther has ever done right in his freaking life. And when <laughs> we get back to our decade, I, you when mean we, when Captain we find Franco. our plane of existence? Luther still hasn't when done We find right. our plane of existence. You're gonna thank me for this one, Blake. Uh, trust me. Trust uh, me, on Luther. That. This is a separate timeline. It does not uh, intersect with uh, your original one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You just gave uh, yourself in it. Who may I mean, or to may be not fair, end up we did like kill some bugs timeline. and stuff. We've changed. It. It's the butterfly effect, man. Yes, but this is a completely I still, separate I have timeline. A dream. No, I still. I'm holding on to the stream. Trust me. Just, just, just. I'm you just made Luther Styles in this timeline very rich. It could carry over. A Luther to your goodwill I cannot stand. Luther <laughs> is like gravity, right? Like Luther <laughs> exists cross planes. <clears throat> Hopefully, a Luther styles from another world went to our world in the past and gave you money too. Oh, you just actually you just blow blew my fucking mind, Blake. Like <laughs> if I just think some wait a minute. <laughs> like have you ever checked to see if you have a uh, trust fund? <laughs> No, no, Luther's never. But we'll do that. that. We'll do that. We'll do that later. That's fine. We'll do that. Okay. Oh God, now my head hurts. All right. I need some blow. We got to figure <laughs> out like what we're gonna do. Mad um, Maggie up in there can uh, help you out with getting blown. I mean, well, is Tim, but is Timmy Horton done yet? Or like, oh, I'm you know, sure he's done. And the, Here, uh, and smoke the, on one of these. The bunny went in there and. The Canadian, like I, so I, I don't like I, the Canadians. You know, probably, and they're just cheering them on, or, or apologizing for you know Timmy Horton's performance. Oh, so, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry about that. Sorry, mm -hmm. he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Here, Luther, have a cigar. I okay. I'll take. The, I'll certainly take the cigar, but I. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Luther's. You could see this. The hamster wheel spinning in Luther's head. I have a really brilliant idea, but I got to think it through, so that the keeper doesn't shoot it down. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna think through something. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. So about is it called a keeper minutes. in Acton Cthulhu? Well, uh, it's a good question. I think I, think I called a it a game. Yeah, I think Call of Cthulhu is just. Keeper, but this right? is a different well, but company. it's two d twenty. Yeah, right. It's mm -hmm. Modifius. Yeah, yeah. They might just call it Game Master. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a Game Master's Guide. Yep. So there you go. Peter has too many titles. It's because Chaosium probably has it copyrighted or something. All right, so about 15 minutes pass. As I try to copy this note, and then that's pretty it. impressive, actually, for Timmy Horton. I like, yeah, right. It must be the salt Peter. In How the, long did he last? Yeah. How long did he last? <laughs> 15 minutes. No. Uh, and 13 comes out. Dude, he can make a career out of that. How much of 13's fur is missing? <laughs> None that you can see. <laughs> it's all down his back. <laughs> With the claws. Well, I think they're going to be another five to ten minutes. At least. Another five to ten minutes? How? What? Why? Well, they just finished putting up the, her Ikea shelves, and now they're working on the dishwasher. <laughs> nice comeback. Ikea <laughs> shelves? You hear the door open. Terribly sorry. We'll be a while. <laughs> closes. I can't, find the, I can't find the correct hex wrench to fix this. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's this just fiberboard the shelf. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it seems... Uh, that is what she asked of them. I was curious what I was curious what she might have been doing with that mold that she took off of Blake there, but Hey thirteen, let me ask you a question. Does if you had to guess her age when you were in there, like what would you can you approximate a human's age? Would, would are you like do you know what, normally what like all like, humans look the same Catherine. That's what I'm asking, right? Like like what would you estimate her age to be? Everyone looks 20 to me. Are you 22? Yeah, I am. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, man, spot on. You're really good at this, 13. Like, that's uh, that's that's amazing. Uh, did she look to be around 50-ish or? 23? Okay. I mean, I think she's. I think she's de aging, guys. I'm serious, Captain. If you look at thirteen, how old do you think he is? I don't. In bunny years, like I don't. What is it? Carry the two, multiply by seven. Um, they all look the same, don't they? Twelve. I don't know. Like I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> how about this? Well, because again, like, right? What is it? Four years? Six years? Seven? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. What I'm saying is, though, Maggot, when we first saw Hildy, she was like 70 years old. Then she looked like she was like 60. Now she looks like she's 50. And 13 is saying she looks like she's going to be in her 20s, right? She's de-aging. Here's what happens. The more she eats, like, the more she regenerates or something. Does she look I, beautiful that's... now? Perhaps it was a your glowing personality. You know, that I do seem to have that effect. That could be true. That that could absolutely be true. But I'm not there. I'm not like she's so in there with saying? Timmy Horton. Kill her? I mean, clearly he say? doesn't have. Uh, no, but I think we should like kind of try to figure out what's going on. I mean, she looks the same that she did when she was out here. Oh, OK. Well, maybe she's we should... like 23, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Luther 13. thinks she's... she's 50. I I think that wait how old do you think she looks blake uh well that is a fantastic question let me think about it for a second as the game master sends me in the chat 
<laughs> what I think she looks like. <laughs> I mean, she uh, looks about 50 years old. Oh, she's 50, dude. Like, has she That's always looked I... like she was 50? Uh, it did look like she got younger. From eating the fingers? Uh, no, it was before. No, I think it was before that. Yeah, because Luther ran in when the whole thing was down. Yeah, maybe that's right. her sister. Maybe there's two of them. Okay, so regardless of whether there's two or one is getting younger, there's something maybe it's weird Nova going on. in disguise. And to, but that's what I'm trying to get at, right? Like, like she's a got some sort of magical power. So either one of three things. Like she can magically divine where Nova is, right? Um, or she was nicer like crazy, than Nova, though. Or she's a crazy old hag, and if she's a crazy old hag, like Reisman and Horton are in there with her alone, right? Like, like what if she? Yeah, but they're I don't Canadian. Know if, when when you were in there, I don't know if you noticed the row of like shrunken heads, but we don't necessarily want Reisman and Horton to end up on that shelf. Did I mm. notice the shrunken heads when I was inside? They're just putting together a dishwasher. No. Thirteen. Did you see a a shelf of shrunken heads? I didn't bother to check. I didn't see shrunken heads. I, I have a, a uh, is there a question in regards to her trying to locate uh, Nova? Is it, does anyone have a, a personnel object, uh, Nova? Because I, I believe these kind of things always require something associated with that person. I yeah, don't we think have she left tape. her underwear at my place this time. <clears throat> don't, we, don't we have a tape? A tape that she left us. Remember the tape we listened to? Oh, we on? left the tape behind. Oh. Did right. we? We did. Mm-hmm. It's in the Jeep. Okay. No, it's in your CD or your. Uh, oh yeah, it's in your CD in player. Your back where Luther's a freaking billionaire. <laughs> like yeah, right, right. <clears throat> Is that um, that's a different timeline too, isn't it? I don't know. I, yeah, look, dude, yeah, that's a whole that, different timeline. Do you know how long it's been since I've had a fix? Like I can't. Like I. Yeah, it's been like three through. hours. You're asking. Me, yeah, my point exactly. <laughs> and you're asking me to try to think. You're not like, still tripping. I, I just what we need to do, right? Is we need to, we need to get Reisman and Horton out of there, and we need to go to the spot where we're supposed to meet Nova or where we can find Nova because I want to get the hell out of here, right? Like like let's get the hell out of here, and. Let's go get to where we're supposed to be. Okay. Because really, like, unless you just want to eat pickled goblin fingers all day and, you know, like, no, take tag team, you know, Hildy, then I mean, if she looks a lot younger, I'll consider it. But well, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I mean, I'm right there with you. Let's drop the age like 20 years and we're good. I, I, so. As usual, right? Like, I, right there. <laughs> but, like, for now, let's figure this out. You're into three-year-olds? No, she's, she's 50. Right? Okay. We just told Thir- you 13. She's yeah. 50. 50 minus Wait, 20 is So if 30. he thinks she's 23, what, like, oh. so what is it then? Two years? It would be like two and a half years to every human year if he thinks she's 23 and she's actually 50. <laughs> I get it. So I think that 13 is... I think 13 is about 11. I, you're you're 11 years old, aren't you, 13? 12. You're 11 or 12 years old. I don't have an age. He's 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, valid. Um, okay. Let's just, okay. I don't want to pull rank because, you know. Did, we need to find out if that's Nova. Man. Man. I feel like But that's like Nova. what I'm saying is. Like we need to. That's what I'm saying. We need to let's go we asked in there. Her if she's seen the uh, Nova. Yeah, well, if Nova's trying not to look like Nova, she's not gonna tell us she's Nova. Why would I Nova don't think not Nova's want hiding to look like us. Nova though? She's playing hard to get, like always. Uh, yeah, good point. Good point. Um, she wouldn't tell us she changed into a bat, but I saw it multiple times with my own eyes, and then eventually everyone saw it. I don't think. Wait, well, what I did, did you not say about see the bat? it. Nova turned into a bat and flew away multiple times. So did you just now. I did not turn into a bat and fly away. You had bat me. wings. I did not. <laughs> Look. You did. Blake, you were you tripping. Did. No, I, I, again, I wish I was. Like, I'm not above that. I'm just saying that, like, we gotta. 
I don't think it's Nova, but I think she can help us find Nova. I think she has some sort you of think it's Nova's mom. Creepy. Right. That's what I that's initially what I was thinking. That's why I was like, hey, let's stop the shack because like Nova's a creepy witch girl. This is probably a relation, right? Like I like <laughs> how many creepy witch people are there? So I think we should go in there and talk to her and see if she can't help us in some way, shape, or form. We could sell her Timmy Orton. Like we'll we'll tell her she could keep Timmy Orton if she helps us. Or Reesman. Like I don't whatever. And then Honestly, we're not actually going to sell them. They, they could just leave, right? Like, they slip away in the middle of the night. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All in favor? Okay. I and think that's reasonable. So, and so, so Luther is, like, all in favor and waits, and nobody, like, literally nobody says anything. So he just kind of, like, turns, and he's like, great. <laughs> Let's go. You're pulling rank. And, it's, walks, that's, I, and I, walks into the building. I'm just a building. private. I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> jolly good, jolly good. Oh right, I forgot the I forgot the the British guy is still here too. Yeah, yeah. Where's that private holding at? He's in the shack. Let's go, Snake. Come on, let's go. No, I got a job for him. What you, is it? You like to eat, right? Uh, yeah, I, I like to get high. Sometimes when I get high, I get yeah, I get the munchies. Yeah, well, there yeah. ain't nothing to eat around here, but whatever. You said she had some pickled fingers or something in there? Yeah, pickled goblin fingers, yeah. Yeah, that don't sound so good to me. I was going to send Orton. I found some tracks out back here. I think he can go get us some fresh meat. What kind of tracks? I don't know. They're just some tracks. I don't think we uh, have time to uh, go wild game hunting. Are you sure? I am per- fairly sure that uh, Nova is in some sort of peril or something. We we had time to send a private in there to build furniture or something. Got a fair well, I mean, we do not have to wait for the uh, private, uh, Horton. Do you really uh, want to leave the a, future of Tim Hortons inside there. of that shack? Yeah, but so I wait am a minute. French. Uh, we do not have a Tim Hortons. Oh well, then you're missing out, man. But did you say that Nova can turn into animals, like she's shapeshifter? Yeah, we've all seen her turn into a bat and fly away. So I wonder, could the animal tracks be her? Uh, they very well could. They very well could be. Yeah, thirteen. You know Nova the best. You used to travel with her all the all the time. I suppose we were together when I arrived in the previous Wait, you guys world. were together? She didn't tell me about that. Which way was the tracks going? Uh, was they heading to the north? Uh, Peter, which way are these tracks headed off? Uh, they are headed to the east. Yeah, they, they out here, they head off to the east. Okay. Uh, corporal, 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 uh, corporal Snake, uh, let me speak to you for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Go, jolly go, jolly go, go. Uh, yeah. What do you want? He pulls, uh, he, you see him pull Snake aside and takes out his pipe. He has a little chat with him. <laughs> jolly go, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> no, Horton is <laughs> still in the shack. Yeah, you can hear like construction, like stuff being like stuff being sawed and hammered, and you just hear, "Oh, terribly sorry about that." E, <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Why do I hear hammers? You don't hammer IKEA furniture together. If you do, it it falls apart. Yeah, you quickly. break it. Yeah. It's just that press board shit. No, this is 1940s. The uh, IKEA furniture is uh, actually Excellent. quality. Yeah. Oh, it's real wood. I mean, we Indeed. are in Sweden. Damn, I should have invested in Ikea. Yeah, you could have gotten <laughs> really rich. You need to, you're making another phone call there, uh, 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 Captain. Uh, We're going to send that truck away. Hey, you Need's know what? Turn back to base. Um, jolly good, yeah. Yes. But uh, Major, I think, right? Like, no, it's Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant, Sergeant. Uh, Sergeant Myers, yeah. S- Sergeant, have you Captain. seen um ha- have you seen any uh women around? Women. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, my specific, hometown is lady women, yes. Specific 
a specific woman goes by the name of Nova. The queen, yes. No, no, not the queen. God Golly, save the yeah. queen. But but uh, she goes by the name of Nova. Um, she's, you know, kind of. I don't know. I don't like. How would you describe Blake? What what does Nova? What does Nova look like? Black leather pants. High heels. She is probably in a disguise. Uh, I don't remember anything else. I don't. Yeah, I just I don't remember know. the pants. Did you just look at her pants. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. That no, I, no wonder you uh, Americans and never find it. Love, you just stare at the pants the whole conversation. Yeah, I don't who said anything about trying to find love. I'm I'm you, you have know, to I'm lock gonna... eyes and let yeah, her we, know we locked eyes. that you are a man. We locked eyes, among other things. Okay. <laughs> so uh, creepy conversation aside. Um <laughs> like have you seen a woman that is she she would look American to you, right? Um, but also she would look kind of, uh, she'd be sort of conspicuous, almost like you would suspect her to be a spy, right? Like, you remember, um, I don't know, has Bullwinkle been out yet in 1946? You know, Boris and Natasha? She's kind of like thinking Natasha, right? Like that, like that type of person. Uh, Lieutenant, I were looking for a woman named Nova. <laughs> yes. Jolly good, yes. Aren't we looking for Gonzalez too, Doctor Gonzalez? Doctor Gonzalez, yeah, very good, jolly good. Not yes, gonna find them here, though. Nope. Why? So where where are we gonna find them? Bintagi. See, we just gotta go, man. Yeah. Gotta go. All right, let's we... go. Uh, I guess we're walking because the, the jeep is no good. No, Z Z. Jolly good. Oh, we have their new head. truck. Oh, you got a new no, truck. Truck's gotta return. Yeah, yeah. Truck's gotta return back to base. Yeah. Unfortunately, not with President C. Horton. He's indisposed. But, uh, jolly good, we will walk. No, no, no. Why don't you guys take, take the, the uh, oh, we sing along the way. we're gonna commandeer that truck, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, <clears throat> we, we can. can sing along the way if we wish. We could sing, love to sing along. <laughs> Something tells me that uh, we are not getting oh, the god, truck. it's turning into bridge over the river. Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> so he yeah. You see, uh, Sergeant Myers walk over to the the truck as it's about to leave. So hold here, chap. So here, the captain here wants to accommodate this vehicle. Totally good. Yeah, totally. We want to accommodate this vehicle. He looks at you. Sorry, Major. I'm sorry, Captain. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, where to? Uh, Watangi. You heard him. Double Cap time. Double time, pedal to the middle. Should we, uh, should we get Horton and Reisman, or are we leaving them here? Oh no, we we should get them. Okay. They'll join us later. Sure, jolly good, yes. Oh, okay. I I mean, I guess uh, Reisman does need a ride, so you know, maybe Tim Horton will give him a, a ride. Or, or the witch will. Oh, oh yeah, she's broom. probably got a broom. Jolly good, yes. <clears throat> you know, I didn't see any black cats, though. <clears throat> I'll let them know that we're leaving. Good idea. Just so that we can... Yeah. So it's 13 walks and back into the uh, the hut. Yeah, the, the, the door's open. You see uh, Lieutenant Reed's been walking out, and he's got, like, a couple pieces of wood. Oh, terribly sorry. We gotta, we gotta help rebuild this hut. Eh? <laughs> rebuild the whole hut. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it could use some repair. We, uh, we must unfortunately head out. Oh yeah, we found dry rot. Eh? It's gonna have to be done. The re whole floor is gonna have to be done. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're heading up to. Uh, is it Satangi? Vitangi, yeah, yeah. We're heading up to we're heading up to Vitangi. We'll uh, meet you there. Eh? I trust you will. Good luck. And uh try not to breathe any in. Okay. 
he reaches into his pocket and hands you a bottle of maple syrup. For the trip, eh? In case you need it. Thank you. <coughs> I'm going to need this. As, and- as 13 comes back to the truck, like when he comes back to the truck, every time he goes to try to get into the truck, I'm going to tell the driver to hit the <laughs> accelerator. Like, And so every time he tries Vroom. to go get in, the driver is going to go for it. <laughs> I do that to Paula all the time when I've got oh, the so kids funny. in the it's car. The yeah. <laughs> and the three year old always cries, No, don't leave. <laughs> it's, it's oh, great. If you Peter did is such a dick. I like <laughs> So the first time you do that, like thirteen would be like the second time, he's just gonna like run and pounce on and like just like do a like a madman leap onto the car. Well done. <laughs> well done. <clears throat> so in the vehicle, in the cab, there there's the driver, and there can be two other people, and then the rest have to be in the the uh, the back. I'll be in the back. There's like Shotgun. A, I'm private, so I have to be in the back. There's a like a canvas, but it's kind of weathered, and there's some holes yeah. in it. As as Luther's riding in the front, like we're in the back. Jacques is going to make the uh, observation. You know the uh, the people in the cabs, they always uh, get shot first. Uh, <laughs> hey Jacques, you want to ride up front? <laughs> I am good. Uh, <laughs> let us sing a song. Uh, what is the one you Americans are always singing when you're going somewhere at a Yankee Born... Doodle? No. <laughs> Born in the USA. <laughs> no, I am That's fairly I sure it is Yankee Doodle. <clears throat> or Bad to the Bone. I like that one. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Well, now we know how the French portray us in their movies. Could sing some, uh, sing some "Sweet Child of Mine" and ode to the Guns N' Roses concert that's going on outside my window. <laughs> <laughs> Is there really one not happening right there? Yeah, at Wrigley. I can <laughs> on my porch right out here. I can hear them. Oh, that's funny because they're really loud. You're in Chicago too. Hmm. What the hell? Where are you? Where? 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 What? Apparently at Wrigley. <laughs> yeah. I'm so are you call. Wrigleyville? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where are you? I play games with like eight people from uh, Chicago. Well, because Chicago's fucking shit, right? Like, uh, <laughs> they run outside your house. Yeah, they yeah. gotta they gotta use escapism there. <laughs> uh, also, wait before I forget this though. It's not we're not doing Guns and Roses. We're all singing White Snake. Clearly, obviously. So, <laughs> yeah. <It's, Duh. laughs> um, small world. Absolutely small world. All right, so you guys are all in the truck headed north uh, down this dirt road. Uh, Occasionally you pass like some trees that have fallen and a charred body on the side of the road. Uh, There are no huts. There's no buildings, nothing out here. It's just wilderness. Uh, And let's take a break right there. All right. We'll be back in a couple minutes. What's our driver's
All right, we're back. Take it away, Peter. All right, so you have finally left the uh, the Hags or the North Switch's place, leaving the Lieutenant and Private Horton to do whatever services are required of them, uh, apologizing along the way. Uh, in the deuce and a half that uh, the captain or major, unsure, has commandeered, heading north on this dirt road uh, from Jacques Fall to a place called Vitali uh, or something. Uh, it's uh, Swedish, so all our Swedish followers, please don't hate me. Um, I don't think we have any, to be honest. <clears throat> we could. I mean, I eventually. Like one, we might. A, <clears throat> could be one of my relatives. I just don't know it. <laughs> um, so you it is the middle of the night um, uh, Captain Franco I believe is in the front with Sergeant Myers uh, your driver of course is Private Ebert um, he's got the lights on just driving this diesel truck down this dirt road um it's he, it's not too bumpy, so your hemorrhoid is is okay there, Captain. It's, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. He slams on the brakes a second. You, did you see that? And he uh, points into the wood line. Was it a glint? No, it's some kind of glowing figure. It, it just kind of vanished off into the woods. Uh, I kind of just like pound on the back. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, so, Private Roger Ebert here uh, just saw a glowing figure off in the woods. So Does, I, I just want quick, quick sort of gut check here. Does Nova glow? <laughs> and I don't mean like after glow, Blake. I, I mean like I not in end. general, sort of like you know what I'm saying. I have no. Idea. I don't think so. Jacques like checking the driver's eyes with a flashlight, seeing if he's just you know seeing things. <clears throat> mm-hmm. He looks to be fine. Perhaps he did see uh, this uh, glowing figure. Do we want to investigate, or do we want to continue on? That is a hard call, uh, Private. Uh, what would you say is this glowing figure looked like? Was it a woman? <laughs> a woman. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was Wu Tang. All right, like <laughs> clan. It was the clan. <laughs> I, don't know, I couldn't tell. I oh, but, but, but this, uh, this, this, this note was awful uh, mysterious, wouldn't you say? No, no. Did How do appear, you know? Did it appear that it was hiding from us? Like, was it trying to hide from us? I guess what I'm saying is Nova wouldn't hide from us, right? She no, she would never. If she didn't want to be found. Maybe from me. might hide from Blake. Just say. Why would she hide from me? Oh, she no. wants me. No, no, I don't think I've noticed that. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, she wants me. I think we should keep moving, but I will keep a lookout and fire her first and ask questions later. Oh, jolly good, jolly good. So I tell uh, Ebert to keep a sort of continue forward, but to keep an eye open. So okay, he starts, uh, puts the truck in gear, and starts rolling down the road again. Uh, thirteen, you're looking out. Yep. Okay, so I want you to make a roll from difficulty one. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Insight. And observation, if anybody else wants to make inside observation, difficulty one, they can. Ooh, let's, got a 50-50 chance. Ooh, I got one success. Okay. Uh, what did I get? <clears throat> I failed, so it doesn't matter. So when we roll, like, if my inside's 10, it would be... 10 plus whatever the observation and that's what I have to roll under. Yeah. And but I, okay, well, no, never mind. I'll ask you after. I'm just I'm not clear on when it's a critical success though. 
like only how, when you how, roll how you the know? ranks. Oh, okay. Of okay. the skill that you have. Got it. So either so a then, one or if you have like two or three in ranks, then it's a, yep. then it's that. Got it. So, so you want uh, Luther's one. Luther succeeded, but uh, it's not a critical success. I failed miserably. If it was D and D, I'd have been doing great. <laughs> okay, so and Luther spotted something as well. Well, you know, being wired doesn't hurt, so kind of spot everything. He probably would have felt a poke in the back, like through the through the canvas, as Jacques put some adrenaline into him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody else? Who am I missing? Let's see. Blake. No, I failed. Uh, Jacques oh. in the back. Like okay. he, he hasn't really got much to look at except okay. out the back. Yeah, same here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I I like Luther tells Private Ebert to stop. Just stop. 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 Okay. Immediately stop. <laughs> Uh, (laughs) there's something out there and i swear to god i i I swear to god it's wearing a viking helmet like like i blake don't look at me like that all right i'm I'm in the back you it's well yeah i'm talking to you guys through the little slide is there a slide in this thing yeah Yeah. that's what jock opened when i banged initially um like there's something out there with the Viking. Luther, helmet. I always assume you see stuff. I'm not looking at you any different than I would if you said something factual. Okay. And he is totally when, giving you a side eye. Yeah. When <clears throat> when like Thor comes out of the woods and smashes down on us with his hammer, like I, I don't say I didn't warn you. I'm there's Thor. something out there. This thing is I didn't see. You're talking about the God of Thunder. I didn't see. He would not be in Sweden. Viking helmet, but I did see for a second something glowing. It was about three meters tall. So oh, good, good, good. Oh, oh, we got, oh, oh my, oh, oh lord. Whatever we got after us or in these woods, it's quite large. It's clearly tailing us. Well, uh, at uh, worst comes to worst, I suppose we uh, drive at a high speed and. Uh, if something comes chasing us down the road, I can always uh, just uh, roll a stick of dynamite out of the back. Okay, just have a stick of dynamite <laughs> handy, though. I will have one at zero there. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Somehow that makes me feel better. <laughs> Bumpy road, truck nitroglycerin uh, it's fine it's gonna be fine so yeah for sure for i sure. have the steadiest uh, hands uh, uh i've seen you in work i've seen you in action yeah uh, uh for sure i totally believe that anyway uh i did you see something ebert did you see it this time was it the same glowing mm-hmm. things no I, I didn't i didn't see it all right this time i want you to go forward but i want you to keep your eyes open this time ebert i thought i told you to keep an eye out like make make sure you're scanning the road and the side of the road and just just do your job that's all i'm asking right like yes sir yes sir okay okay all right let's sit into gear starts driving Oh, Luther, way, is, trucks. Luther is ducked down as far as he can possibly get into the wheel well, like the seat well, so that his head is not, like, he's just kind of, like, peering up over the side <laughs> of the, the door. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, <clears throat> by the way, these trucks have an inline six multi-fuel engine, so if we ever run out of fuel, we can burn oil. Oh, there you go. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. 
hey, we're educational now. That's right. Uh, is anybody <laughs> doing anything as you? With all the swearing earlier, story? I don't know if we want to be educational. <laughs> We could be college Colorful level. Kids, language. Kids need to learn how to swear, too. Yeah. Like, uh, you know. It could be college level. I mean, yeah. I don't know if God they need it. to know how to swear. S- collegiate swearing. I mean, you don't want 300 level swearing. I mean, like, let's be, yeah. 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 You don't you don't want people walking around talking like my old boss, like, what the damn it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the damn it? Yep. Dude, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is anybody oh. doing anything? Uh, after this, when you start back up, are you? Jack's just watching behind us, ready to just stick a dynamite out the back if something's chasing us. Yeah, and if 13's going to get a clear, if he gets a clear, steady shot at this thing, whatever it is, he, he will uh, not hesitate to take it. Okay. So um, you guys head out the road, uh, head up the roads more down the dirt path here at night, and it is cold. Um, just hear the engine and the sound of the wheels on the road. Jacques, you pick up the sight and a 13 of a figure, not glowing, kind of, uh, you get the glint from the moonlight as it steps out onto the road behind your truck and like staggers and it has a weapon and it like drops the rifle and it like scatters onto the dirt road and it's raising its hand like waving its hand. I believe it. there is a soldier behind us uh, stranded. Is he wearing a Viking helmet? <laughs> I, no, I know. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> He's in like some kind of white fatigues. <clears throat> Stop the truck. Uh, 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 yeah, but okay, everyone yeah. points your guns yeah. at him just in case. <laughs> he would stopped the truck. Although he stops the truck again. Oh man, is he a god damn it? Has the United Nations been formed yet? Is he UN forces? Jesus, everyone hates them. Like, oh god, uh, hurry uh, up, you buffoon! <laughs> friendly, step closer as 13 commands to commands to this creature. You see the person like. <laughs> They're about like twenty yards away, and they're just kind of waving to your truck. They don't, they they wouldn't be able to see you inside that cab, inside the back. Put it in reverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> he starts driving backwards. Where's he at? I'll tell you when to stop. It. This this will right. end well. Yeah. This this thing. This thing oh, was. This thing was three meters tall. Yeah, but this is not that thing. This is a man with a gun who dropped it. That and it's waving of. for the truck. Oh, dear. Stop a... What you say? About 30 yards? Meters. Well, how much? <laughs> <laughs> You're American. <laughs> Use yards. So it gets really close to him, and he... he uh, you know what? Let's give him a roll here. He stops like 10 feet right that before the guy. not even Brr. 30 feet. I can't, I can't see. Can't convert, Suck me, Pete. Can't convert Imperial to metric. I don't know. Like, why does he? Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Captain, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Can you do something about that? <laughs> don't mind him he's french we all hate the frogs it's fine the only no. thing we hate worse than the frogs are u.n forces which is probably what that guy was and we'd all been better off if you just backed over him so Jack's let's like, just see what's going on and it's fine ebert you're good man you are Jack's you're like all good pointing at this guy now what is the problem um so you're up you look down and you can see this guy just he's got kind of, uh, his uniform is like white camo for Obviously, the terrain. Oh, oh shit. Right. So he's Germans not, were white. I'm, I'm sorry, his, I didn't mean to cast aspersions on you, off <laughs> soldier. His face looks like, uh, like somebody hit him with a, with an iron because it's like got a big square impression right here. Like his nose is smashed in, and his mouth. Hey, Blake. He just barely can talk. What? Is your, your is your brother in the service? This guy looks a lot like you. No. My brother's not in the service. He's a wrestler, and he's not in the 1940s. 
And he is mumbling. You but maybe this Blake, like uh, anyway, yeah. He is anyway, this guy looks a lot like you. you. No, we don't. Jacques will like help him into the back of the truck so he can get closer and hear this guy. <clears throat> so yeah, when you get down, he starts talking. Uh what's what is uh what's Jacques' languages? Uh English, French, and he knows German. Okay, they're none of those. Oh. He's he's Estonian. <laughs> Lithuanian. Latvian. But uh, <laughs> considering your uh it sounds a lot like Russian. We have a uh, communist here. Um, and as he's like staggered, he's pointing into the woods. Like holding on, talking and pointing into the woods. Yeah. Jacques, Jacques going to make like a, a gun symbol, like shooting towards the woods. He looks confused. Does the injury on his face look fresh? Like oh he's yeah, smashed. It. Okay. Oh yeah, he's bleeding. It's still bleeding. You he's said you saw a, uh, a Viking helmet. Yeah. I'm gonna do like the 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 curved horns thing, like try to make it look like we've got curved horns, and I'm gonna point <laughs> towards the woods. Yeah, he <laughs> shakes his head. Ah, uh, yes, we should have not go into the woods. Uh, <laughs> this man has just been smashed in the face by a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I told you Thor was good. Oh, man. Now, see, nobody ever believes me. I mean, geez, yeah, okay. So I lie a lot. Yeah, so exactly. I steal. So I do drugs. So I'm really a despicable human being. But it doesn't mean that I'm not right once in a while. Like, I, Jesus. Yes, but it does make it uh, very hard to uh, trust you. All right, fair. For what it's worth, I believe Anyways, you uh, that's fair. Uh, you, let us help this uh, Yuri up into the back of the truck. I'm assuming he's named Yuri. They're all named Yuri. All named Yuri. Yeah, right, right. <clears throat> Oh yeah, he barely he barely can move. Like he's uh, not moving one of his legs. Did he pick up what his weapon? No, he left it there. Oh, Jack will pick it up and toss it in the back of the truck with us. What kind of weapon was it? Uh, if it's it, a submachine gun, it's not a. Of it's, it's, no, it's not that. It is uh, whatever the bolt action Russian. Mosin Nagant. I'll take it. I don't think I have it. It's a Mosin Nagant. <clears throat> Full show. I don't know that we should give Blake a gun. He's <laughs> kind of dangerous with guns. I, I don't know. I uh, mean, that's the idea. Uh, Jock's going to assess this man's injuries. Like you said, his leg was looked like it was troubling him. Oh, yeah, you're a surgeon. You could amputate it. <laughs> um, more importantly, Jacques is checking for that moss. Oh, good point. Uh, you do not find it in the moss. You realize that like his kneecap is like destroyed. you yeah. got to cut Jacques, it off. Jacques will make him a splint. So you can at least hobble better. Okay. Um, if the man looks like he's got like in a lot of pain, Jacques will try and do some medicine checks on him and stuff to try and make yeah. him uh, but, uh, a little uh, bit yeah. better shape. So he's at yeah. least a better yeah. ally. That'll be a difficulty <clears throat> too. All right. Uh, I could look at my talents. I might have something for that. Uh, medic. Uh, we still have two momentum. I can use two momentum to straight up just treat one of his wounds. Okay. Do we feel like we need a better ally? Or another ally? I feel like we should I, like I feel like we should search him uh, and like Luther will attempt to pat him down to Loot pretend he's looking for weapons but really he's just looking for vodka. Do we want to? <laughs> absolutely certain that this Russian soldier has vodka on him somewhere. So and yeah, and, he's got a little flask. Uh, and uh, I, I'll confiscate this. Uh, yeah, we don't know what's in here. This could be some sort of liquid explosive. <laughs> and since momentum is a shared resource, uh, I don't know how to bring this up in game, but would we want to spend two momentum? If we have Thor poten potential really? Thor roaming the woods, we have up no. to five, or is it is it five or six? I think it's five. Well, you you gain them. Yeah, yeah you gain as them as fight. the game as the game goes. That's what I'm saying. So like, if we start fighting and we gain a bunch more, I mean, we'd just be at max cap anyways. So might as well just leave it just slightly empty all the time, so that we're always gaining it. If that makes sense, you got to have somewhere for it to go. In other words, don't just sit on it; spend it. 
Yeah. Use it. Yeah. We'll Works go ahead and we'll go ahead and use two to treat one of his wounds. And then I'll go ahead and roll to see if we get him in a little bit better shape. Uh that is coordination plus medicine fifteen. Uh two successes. Okay. You get him into a state that he seems comfortable. He really can't speak due to his injuries, but Yeah. He doesn't look like in it. he's in uh, more pain, at least. Pulls he's not wearing shattered ring or teeth out of his health. He? Uh, do you check for that? Yeah, I've got, I'm patting him down. Of course, I'm. Uh, no, there is no. Ring. There are no rings on him. Okay, so no cult of Stalin ring, no black sun. Okay. He's not as cool as us. Clearly, well, he's communist, so like, yeah. Right. So he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, would Jacques know in this this time frame like the standard allies are still all allies right the Russians are working with the French and the German and the English and the British um, would that be something Jacques would know at this point or not because he is from this timeline uh, from yeah from the timeline you remember that definitely the Russians were <clears throat> allies yeah okay well after Poland but you know, no one, <laughs> yeah, no, no one, one, no one counts that. that part. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Poland. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll stop them at the Sudetenland. It's fine. <clears throat> All right, so you get him into the truck. Uh, what are you gonna do? Unwear driver. All right. Start driving up the road. Um, wait, we but we don't want to go see what, like, smashed his face in. Do you want your face smashed in? Of no, I was then we well, when I say we, when I say we, I'm <laughs> speaking of like the royal we, like you know, like <clears throat> I would sit in the truck, talk with Ivan here, and you know, like yeah, yeah. Private Ebert's like, do do you need me to, Captain? You need me to go investigate? Uh, we could send Roger. We don't want to lose another driver. I think Uh, it is better to leave sleeping dogs lie. Okay. If only we had Bonnie. Okay. Then we could sacrifice this guy. (laughs) This is Uh, war. Drivers are resources, okay? We're going to drive forward. We don't want to at lose that in, valuable uh, personnel and or materiel, so uh, we're at just going to uh, drive forward. You know, a Viking comes charging out of the trees. Uh, I'm fairly certain a vehicle such as this can outrun a man. What about the God of Thunder? Well, he did not uh, make lightning noises. Uh, Jock will turn to the Russian guy and like... <laughs> Like make try to make it look like lightning strike. Oh, I think it's we're completely fucking insane. So yeah, right, right. He uh he just kinda opens one eye and looks at you like uh you're crazy. <laughs> no, I don't think he saw any lightning. All right, let's, on our way there. Yeah, let's 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 continue on with the mission to uh locate Nova. Yeah, for sure. So headed up this uh, this road, back to up the dirt road into these woods, into this forest. Um, all of you don't need to make a roll up. You go about uh, 15 minutes and you see a bright light, light like lightning. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear it hit the ground off into the distance and uh, sparks and, and then the whole forest goes uh, dark. Yeah, Jack. Jory, okay. how could you what, lie to me? Jack, what about the clay <laughs> boom that just happened? <laughs> That's what I am saying, Yuri. How could you lie to me? <laughs> I mean, isn't Thor a good guy, though? Kind of looks at you again with one eye in his uh, doped up state and just kind of smiles. <laughs> Wait, if I gave him. Doped up. Uh, did Luther <laughs> find anything during well, I the gave him down? morphine for the pain. <laughs> You Uh-oh. wasted the morphine on him? He is a wounded man. He needs oh. a pain medication. He's a commie. I'd like, rather it get wasted on a 
person other than you, Luther. I'm sorry. Blake, nobody asked you, Blake. So, um, <laughs> uh, like, I tell go, you what, Luther, go back you to fondling, go back to fondling your gun, Blake. And, uh, and, and you're just and, mad I won't fondle your gun. Uh, no, 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 we tried that, it didn't work. Um, so, <laughs> no, no, officer listed, separate, of course. Nope. Uh, I, 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 I think we got to figure out where the lightning's coming from. Like what I'm saying is it's getting worse, right? Like if we just keep continuing along, we do, should we investigate this or, or no? And honestly, to Blake's point, like, I guess, depending on your perspective, though, Thor is a good guy, right? Which way out in the trees did the lightning seem to come from? Like the direction we're headed or to the side of us or behind? Yeah, kind of to like to the side <clears throat> enough that everybody saw it. Probably about 50 yards in. I can investigate. I can oh, you are on top of the truck. What does the uh, bird's eye view give you? Oh, that's right. You did jump on top of the truck. You could jump straight up in the air on the truck and maybe get an uh, eye above the tree line. I was just going to creep forward. I can, I haven't, uh, I, I can remain unseen if I wish out here. That would be good. Oh my God, Chad has a really good freaking point. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> I forgot the Swedes are evil. <laughs> yeah. So, thirteen's got a uh, focus. One of his focuses in stealth is rural stealth, which is exactly what we are in right now. Yep. So he is going to, uh, you know, roll around in the snow to become a white hair. Um, and uh you know, a little bit and then like creep uh towards uh with a blue light special drawn towards where the the thunder or the lightning strike hit okay if you need assistance just scream the words to the hokey pokey <laughs> Oh god, the best was the actual just putting the whole leg in. <laughs> Who would have thought and the French love the hokey pokey song? It is a good song. It's not as good for parties, no. Yeah, just like Yankee Doodle. Indeed. I know you Americans listen to hokey pokey. French and don't Yankee understand Doodle. sarcasm. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, we cannot help that we are honest. Yeah, uh, okay. Have you ever heard of a lying Frenchman? Oh, man, when I think of yes. like, the French, I think you can absolutely, yeah, that's nothing but trust right there, buddy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly. trust him to have my back. Dependable, <laughs> resolute, some would say. <clears throat> Never broken a pact or a treaty in their existence. Unyielding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, they only Marshall get you into a winning, a winless war, and then just back up. <laughs> you are familiar with the Vichy French, right, Jacques? <laughs> just, like, just saying, buddy. <clears throat> I don't think Jacques knows happen. about the. Never mind. <laughs> that yeah. did not happen in this timeline. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> This timeline's fair game. <laughs> it was um, much worse on this timeline. <laughs> okay, wait, where are we? Fuck, fuck, Luther needs a drink. Um, You're in the middle of the night in the woods. There's... Yeah, no, but I, you were going out with the blue light special. Yeah, 13 is off um, investigating. Okay. Do a 007 things over there. It's like some faint theme music playing you're like and um it it's more mission impossible dun 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 yep so after a few minutes 13 um well you may or may not see him it depends on how well you're you're looking out uh, but he creeps back towards the car um, and kind of crawls uh, back up on top. There are three 
dead uh, Russian bodies in tank. So, okay. okay. It's a sure good thing, right? Are you sure they're dead? They looked very badly burned. What did the condition of the tank look like? It looked like your tanks. They all looked the same. They're like yes, but it is it like broken, uh, still functioning. It it looked disabled. Oh, so happy. But I was able to find on the soldiers some of this, and he he hand he pulls out like a big uh, bottle and he hands it to uh, hands it to Luther. It's a bottle of vodka. Nice. So mission accomplished uh luther will <laughs> luther actually um will pop the bottle and just throws it back like and literally like is uh, chugging um half the bottle for sure uh, uh, and then he snag it and sniff it and be like and just make sure you don't drink uh, too much it may make you go blind <laughs> <laughs> that's potatoes it's fine it's good and then he hands it to uh ivan i thought it was yuri oh Ivan Yuri. He is like passed out. Uh, just pours it on his open wounds. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Put pour a little into his mouth. Like um, IV up. Like. <laughs> so the tank is you think the tank is completely disabled, like we couldn't possibly use it because like honestly, a tank would be uh, you know, much better than this truck. I'm just saying. Like um that it'll make it'll make Jacques uh, little uh dynamite look like, you know, I like really I am familiar with artillery. It, it appeared disabled, but I'm not sure with perhaps okay. with, what about the ammunition with time and the right tools, maybe perhaps it could be repaired. Uh, screw the tank, we have the ammunition rack. But I also found this picture. <laughs> And he holds up a, a, a piece of paper. It's got like a, sun, a, a symbol. It's like a sun on it. I think these, the, the Russians here are in league with this. Is it the black sun? And Wait, it thought, also has some writings on it. the Nazis were black sun. Yes, that's what he said. There, there's some writing and then there's like a sketch and it looks like a sun. I would draw it, but hell if I can find that stupid symbol in this book. <laughs> but, I thought, but this is a Russian tank, right? And these are dead Russian soldiers? Correct. Which which year are we... What year? Do we know what year it is? Yeah, 1946. Clearly, these Russians, or at least the Russians, or at least these ones, were are still in league with Germany. <clears throat> that brings up a good point. Jacques's going to turn to our driver and be like, hey, what side are the Russians on nowadays? Well, you can't trust those Reds. You never know. They've been scooping up all sorts of old uh, Nazi land holdings so you would say uh, relations are uh, tenuous at best yeah that is good to know but hey yeah, we, we can interrogate that printer center once we uh, once he comes to yes uh, I, do you speak Russian no then we cannot interrogate the prisoner I'm sure Captain will figure out something out uh, sure. <laughs> hey, just for point of clarification, again, I'm just sort of testing you, Ebert, right? Like, this is not, I just want you to know, I want testing your knowledge. There was a war on two fronts at some point, right? Like, I guess what I'm saying is, like, you know, like, like at some point, the, the Nazi forces turned east, and, right? Like, they fought a war on two fronts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, what do you mean Nazi forces? I thought the Swedes are the Nazis here. Well, no, I thought the Swedes were on the Nazi side. Like, I thought That's... the Swedes threw in league with Germany. Oh. Okay. Again, test, right? Axis powers. Japan. Germany. Yeah, Italy. Yeah. Italy. Yeah. And No, they're on our side. Sweden? No, wait. No, they're on their side. No, I think they changed back. Okay. Continue, continue. Sorry. All right. Okay. 
It's okay. Uh, all right. Um, God damn it. Uh, I say we go to Z Tank. See if we see any more information. Yeah, I think we. I agree. I, I, at, I, uh, at worst, I get to salvage some explosives from Z ammunition rack. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I agree. And 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 maybe the tank is salvageable. It, like it could be. Or the HE shells from Z Tank are salvageable at least. <laughs> Ebert, are you like uh are you are you a, a mechanic? Are you like, you know, what what was uh what's your field of uh training there, Ebert? Uh, are you are you from like the motor pool or I mean I've been in the motor pool. Okay. Uh could admin. You, could you Do you need admin. any uh, paperwork done, Captain? No, I mean I heard you it's what we have Blake here for. So uh uh oh, it's okay. like it's he is an accountant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my <clears> gosh. <throat> I want to punch someone in the face. <laughs> punch Ebert, clearly he deserves it. So <laughs> Um so the, uh, We're gonna head over to the tank, I think. At least Luther's gonna head over to the so tank. So the symbol that was sketched on a piece of paper looks like this. Mm. And there's some Russian writing on it. So it's clearly somebody. It's it looks clearly like the top no. of a tomato. That's a whole nother campaign. Um, <laughs> it, it looks like this, a note that was, you know, somebody had. All right, and so the writing on it is like Cyrillic. We don't recognize any of it. it it's it's Russian. Okay. Perhaps these Russians were searching for the Black Sun. Hopefully, See, but that's uh, what I'm trying. Them. That's what I'm trying to establish. It's <clears> not necessarily. I think that 13's assumption, or what 13 was stating, is that like they're in league with the Black Sun. They might not be. They might be tracking down and trying to eliminate. That's why I'm trying to determine. I who have an side idea. Is on who, right? Like, yes, uh, I have an idea. And he'll like pat our Russian friend awake. Right. Just kind of like oh. back him in the face a little bit so he's awake. Ivan Yuri, and then hold up the Trapanovich. picture with the uh, the black sun in the writing. Let's see if he he recognizes that at all. Uh, he kind of nods. And then Jacques's gonna do like this, like he's putting someone in in handcuffs or something. He tries to put his hands out like that's what you want him to do. No, no, no! He's clearly an idiot. <laughs> Z's pointing at the black sun. Uh, you know what? Luther's How just gonna. Would you Luther's gonna point. Scared? Luther's gonna point at the black sun, and he's gonna go. <laughs> he he uh, he just does this. I want to kill the black sun. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't think they're in league with the black sun. I think that they're actively hunting. hunting. Z. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Oh, see, and I think this is good news. the Black Sun is who sort of attacked them, right? This call to the Black yeah. Sun and, you know, disabled. The... Okay, so that so ah. then Luther points at the Black Sun and he's like, he points at the Black Sun and then he points at the guy's, like, face. Like, you know, did they do no, that? No, face is the wrong you? part. He might think he's, uh, you're telling him if he is a Black Sun. Oh, but right. his broken leg. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I point at the Black Sun and then I point his leg like, did they do that to you? Uh, he kind of turns his head. He's like, uh, "We have communicated." Success. <laughs> this means that whatever is in the woods is in league with the Black Sun. Then, right? Yeah. The Black Sun cult is in the area, active, and probably what's been tailing us. And you said this thing is Thor, the god of thunder. Well, I'm saying he was wearing a Viking hat. Yeah, uh, he, the, the Russian man said that Viking helmet man hit him in face and yeah. leg. And he does have kind of a square indentation in his face. True. You know, like the hammer. And we clearly saw lightning. Thunder. I don't know about you, but I am not that prepared to fight a god. I, I'm right there with you. I'm I would right need a you. lot more explosives to fight a god. I'm trying to get back to 2008 where I'm a fucking billionaire. So, uh, <laughs> like, I, you know, I'm not trying to die. For sure. For sure. So, um, how, okay, two things. One, 
clearly Cult of the Black Sun is in the area. Two, Nova's probably in danger, right? So, like... No. Whoever's we got her would be in danger. Do we try... Okay, <laughs> valid point, but still, do we try to get to her as quickly as possible, or do we attempt to... Should we finish the job that our friend Ivan Yuri Drapanovich has already started and clear out the area of the Cult of the Black Sun? I'm not sure if we have much of a choice. I think it seems like this Cult of the Black Sun is after us, whether we wish to engage with them or not. So 13, did you see any weapons um, aside from the tank? uh, Did the dead soldiers have any weapons with them? Uh, did I see any weapons? Yeah, they had their rifles, the same rifle that you saw that he had, bolt action rifle. So should we go? We should at least go get the rifles and the ordnance and yes. And if the sword shows up, uh, perhaps the gun on the tank still works. It is a manual crank to turn. It does not require the tank to run. Oh, like a giant ass fifty cal, like on the tank. Is that what we're thinking about? Uh, no, like the main turret. You crank it with a, a crank, and it turns the turret. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, right. So even if the tank doesn't run, ah, oh. yes, the tank does not have to run to okay, fire. Jacques, the I, gun. I, I, I got you. I got you, Jacques. All right, let's go. Let's. Yeah, the the tank, Russians sure. would not spend money on a uh, electric auto uh, turner. It's much cheaper to have a man crank the wheel. Exactly. It's also a lot less effective. Living truth. Or hand crank. Hand crank. The hand cranks were slow, but they weren't like that slow. They were more reliable. You've done it a few times and your forearms are on fire. (laughs) They were more reliable, though. Like early electric version, like electric systems were really, really sketchy. They almost always had a backup hand crank. We have a Blake. He can turn that thing no problem. Yeah. Mm, Look great. at those forearms. Yes, I mean, he is looking. I can only imagine I've lost some forearm strength in Calico, though. I don't know. All that paper pushing? Like, man, that's good <laughs> for the biceps. Of like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were breaking a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you even um, had to redo a few of your spreadsheets because you dripped a sweat on them. Oh, I told you it was sweat. <laughs> Ew. Sure, I dripped so, uh, something. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you uh, did I, get very excited about it. I think account. we should head over to the tank. I don't know. The only person right now, like, I don't have a weapon. Jock, all you have is dynamite, right? Snake, do you have a weapon? I have a gun. I don't, I don't seem to be packing, Sidewinder. Otherwise, right, so I wouldn't Snake, be worried with this Thor fellow. Snake doesn't have a weapon. 13, uh, you he don't need gun. a weapon. Yeah, right. Um, But, like... <laughs> Yeah, I think we should go at least pick up the rifles and see what we can salvage. Mm-hmm. This is true. Uh, Nick, how the hell do you not have a weapon? What? What? <laughs> this version of Snake is just uh, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm the same version of Snake you knew from before. We're just in a different place. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I'm kind of tra- traumatized. I saw my own I mean, get shot. Luther, do you, do you have any drugs? Uh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> but it's only because, like, you know, I was stored under my sternum in shock. <laughs> kindly <laughs> kind, kindly uh, performed surgery on me and removed, uh, you know, the said drugs. So, it yeah, was yeah. really a happy quid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Getting the bug shot out anyway. Yep, yep. All right, so what's your plan? Are you going to head over there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who is going? Everybody? I mean, Sounds yeah. Good. 13 is going to uh, 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 re, re, re-suit up, uh, re-roll around the snow, and, and take the, the stealthy approach and just kind of hang back. Luther's going to be ducking down behind Blake as always as uh, as he walks over. Okay. And 13, you're going to stealth up? Yep. Are you going to are you hanging back or going ahead? Uh, I can tell you right now, 13, you know I'm not stealthing anything. 
Uh, he'd be hanging back. Jacques would hang uh, kind of in the middle, so if he, he can throw dynamite in any direction and hopefully not kill anybody that's a friend. Okay, so I guess who is in front? Who is up front? Either Blake is a snake up front? Yeah, snake. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> we all just kind of line up behind but him. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and as Luther, as Luther is sort of walking behind Blake, he's kind of whispering up to him, Blake, I'm serious, man. Don't let him die because, like, I, we're, if we get back to 2008, we're, <laughs> all I'm hearing is shoot set, first, man. We are, set. yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Shoot first, ask questions later. I don't care. Like, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Just don't let me die, Blake. I'm telling you, man, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. You also feel his hand in your back pocket. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I've already stolen everything he has. So. <laughs> All right. So, Snake, give me uh, insight and survival. So that would be 11. Difficulty one. As lightning tears through the sky, <laughs> you hear the crack ring across the horizon. And um, Snake just like lights up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's a three and a two. Okay. You pick up the tracks. Uh, you pick up uh, some like animal tracks, but then you pick up some boot tracks. Um, and as you follow the boot tracks, towards where now you see faintly where this tank is, you see the figure outline of a soldier who is kneeling down over one of the, uh, presumably one of the soldiers on the ground, you really can't see, but they are wearing, uh, it's hard, they're very, in this moonlight, they're, they're not covered like in, you know, snow camo, they're in something that's dark. They basically look like just a dark figure. Just gonna start motioning, Blake. Gray, gray uniform or black? Like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, I'm, I'm motioning. No, I know you are. I'm. I refer back to Captain. Oh, the Captain. <laughs> uh, Captain, my Captain. Do you uh, like? Oh, no, do black. what you do, man. Like you pull the trigger. Thing. Okay, I pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you? Sh- what are you? I guess what I'm are you shooting. shooting? It sounds like the there's a guy the kneeling over another soldier. Right? Yeah. And he's not an allied soldier. You just see the outline of a dark figure. Oh, well, I'm not this, shooting. This it's just the outline. I, I didn't. I misunderstood. I'm not listening to you, Captain. <laughs> Creep close air. <laughs> I didn't tell you to shoot him. You said do what I do. What do I do other than shoot things? I, uh, no, you go confront things. You go punch them in the face. Like Shut that's up. like your that's your. I thing. mean, I'm hoping your thing has never die. been. Your thing has never been like slyly shooting people oh, from Jesus, afar. He knows we are here. Right, <laughs> but, but I'm holding a gun, so I shoot rather than punch. Well, go go punch him in the face, or at least go confront him. I push Snake. Go confront him. <laughs> Hello, comrade. <laughs> I don't speak Russian. <laughs> that is all you have to say is that we know if he's Russian or not. Go, Snake. Or yeah. if he says Sprechen Sie Deutsch, you know he's there. You know. You've got last week's lack of being here to make up for it. Go role play. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go up and uh, try and get this guy's attention. Okay. So you're walking on the snow. Are you cautiously walking or just kind of walking up? I'm not going to try to catch him too off guard. I don't want him to freak out and shoot me. I'm just going to walk up like normal, I suppose. Okay. I will follow. uh, So you get within 10 yards of him. And you see this figure. Now you can see that he's in all black. He's got some kind of red armband and with a machine gun and a helmet. And he's wearing like a mask. And he looks up. He looks up. He mumbles something because you can't hear. He's got a mask on and points the weapon at you. Uh, We will begin initiative. So you guys have initiative first. Shoot his ass. (laughs) See, Blake, I (laughs) shot him. 
So should I shoot then? Yes. Uh, let's Boom. think here logically. Oh. I shot now. <laughs> I think 13 has the best gun. <laughs> yeah, but he, I still shoot. You told me to shoot. Unless somebody shot first. Shot first. Did, did 13, did you shoot without having to be told? Uh, As soon as the, I mean, as soon as this creature, like, looked up, I guess, and started mumbling, uh, 13 probably would have shot him. He pointed a gun at me, thirteen. Yeah, he would have. He would have shot him. And he's he's in the like he's in the kind of. Just, I, I'm imagining like we're in the woods, mm-hmm. and there's deep snow, so he's kind of like hidden behind one of the snow covered um, boulders. So yeah, thirteen would shoot. How much momentum do we have? Cool. I thought we had six. Uh, last we got time. three left. Or no, we got we got four. Oh, left. we've spent some today. I think it's, I think it's max five, isn't it? Max is six. Max is six. Okay, so we have four left then. So thirteen shoots. He has an assassination talent. Ooh. So he can spend uh, two momentum on an unaware target uh, to perform an assassination. Okay. Which gains an intense what? Which gains an in, the intense weapon effect? Or an additional two plus if the tax already at tens, which I don't think it is. So, and intense, I think it just adds an additional injury. Um, uh, if the attack inflicts an injury, the effect uh, is roll the attack inflicts an additional injury. Mm. So if you inflict it one, you get an additional one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so 13. So you burn two momentum and try an assassination? Yep. Uh, difficulty is one. It's, uh, coordination and fighting? Yep. Uh, that is one success. Okay, that's what you needed. Uh, so what did we say the stress was? Six for blue light special? Um. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it down. Yep. So give me sixty-six and the numbers, and the numbers. And they they have to be in order. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So first is a six. Okay. Second's a three. Third is a five. Fourth is a six. Fifth is a one. Uh, sixth is a four. Okay. So you inflict four stress on him. Uh, you see it hits him and just. Uh, you can kind of see through where what what area you're shooting through. So it put a hole in him somewhere in his black silhouette. Nice. Uh, what do you guys got? Three momentum left. Uh, thirteen burnt two or one. Two. He burnt two to do. So that, that would put us down. We were at four. That would put us down to two. <clears throat> okay, so you could spend two and can keep the initiative, or I get it. I would say let's do it because otherwise Snake's gonna get the absolute shit shot out of him. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, who's got the next best gun? I can't really throw dynamite. Stakes too close. So I would say probably Blake's gun is probably the next best bet. All right, actually. Tools and a gun should be pretty good. Okay, difficulty one. Oops. Are you shooting the submachine gun or the rifle? Probably the submachine gun. Yeah. I, really I think do. that'd be better, right? Yeah, yeah. How far are we away? Uh, you're within like 10 yards. Then yeah, the machine gun. Uh, I rolled a two on the die, so that should be a success. Roll the other one and see if I we get another like, That could be a critical success. No, I don't think it is. I don't have a skill for that. Close quarters oh. and hand-to-hand. The other one was a 16, so I failed that one. But one of them I succeeded on. Okay, yeah, so it's one success. Uh, what did we say the, the damage was for that gun? Uh, it was the grease gun. I don't remember. I have no idea. 
Uh, I want to say it was 2d6 or 3d6. I think at least three. So roll, give yeah. me 3d6, uh, the numbers in order. Hey, six, five, oh. one. Well, those are all the good ones. I know. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Three and four are the bad ones. So uh, you shoot, you, uh, do you hear the, the grease gun go off? Um, you hear the bullets. It sounds like it hits, hits him. Um, he is definitely staggered. Um, he's just barely, like he's wobbling. And as you look up, you can see like there's a piece of his, like uh, the side of him is like missing. Um, where 13 had shot him. And he just, like, with all his energy, puts that weapon up and he goes to shoot it. Let's see, we got Blake. Of course, Luther is hiding, so I don't have to worry about Blake. <laughs> um, and 13 or Snake. Well, Jacques is in the back, so I don't think Jacques yeah. Jacques also increases the difficulty of range shots against himself by one, so. So he sees Snake. This is his attack of opportunity here. And we'll go shoot. Uh, let's see. I've got four threat from last time. I'm going to burn at least uh, one. Can you use threat like momentum too? Like you can use it to keep yeah. the initiative for your side as well. That's pretty neat. I kind of like that system. That's kind of neat. Pretty sure I can use threat to add an additional dice to roll. <clears throat> uh, I know we can for uh, action. Like, let's see, where is it? Oh, I don't know if we can for momentum. I would think you could. Um, yeah, I think there's some way that mm, we can get another attack on our same turn. And it yeah. gives it gives Peter threat. Like, what is it that we do? Uh, so we can avoid taking losses and shit by giving him threat. I think once per session. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to use. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to use one of my mo I'm going to use one of my threat to add a dice because the difficulty, considering his injuries, is going to be two. Difficulty two. As he attempts to shoot back. Luckily, I did because that is a success. So he reaches up and fires. Yeah, we can use uh, we can use uh, threat to remove or to remove a complication. So we can give Peter two threat to remove a complication. So like if we roll a nat twenty or something goes horribly wrong, that's what so we he give it uh, to him. he just barely unloads this machine gun and it just goes <laughs> right into right into a snake, and he is peppered with six stress. Uh, he's unconscious. How you feeling, Snake? Uh, he, you take more five, than five at a time. You're you're unconscious. You take a yeah. wound and you're unconscious. <laughs> so Snake, we just watch Snake just drop. drop. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> He's on one wound and is incapacitated. So one mark that down, here. Snake. You're on a wound. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't see. Uh, yeah. So like I the, found the, the stress, stress and boxes. the injury. Yeah. So the way stress works is once you build up however many stress you have for brawn, your brawn stores your stress. Once you build up to that number of stresses, you take an injury. Or if you take more than five at one go, you take an injury, and you just right. write injuries down in the injury box. 
if you get three injuries, you're technically dead. But I Jack so kind of technically you. your your <sighs> your physical stress is ten because it's brawn uh, versus resilience. But since you took more than five five or more at a time, you will you take an injury. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, is he, but is he conscious or unconscious at this point? Uh, the rules say you are incapacitated, so he might not be conscious, but he is incapacitated. Okay. You see Snake drop as he is shot. Uh, you guys are up. Um, I don't know if we want to have Jacques go help Snake or if we want to shoot back. I think we want to have Jacques help Snake. We, But then we got another guy right in front of the guy with the machine guys, gun. Guys, we have a meat well, shield. This is amazing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um um well yeah because he looks like he's on his last legs like if we hit him one yeah. more time so then maybe we just gamble and shoot at him again yeah for sure yeah for sure. snake can stand on the ground for a while with one wound as long as the guy doesn't dump another mag into him and put two more wounds on him he should be fine okay okay so i would say 13 um use that well 13 is already gone for this round Oh shit! I don't have a yeah, gun. So I have thirty-one dollars. And hey, you can take the rifle off my back. Yeah. Okay. I grab the rifle from oh, Blake's. Yeah. I grab the rifle from Blake's back. Yeah. And I kind of steady it on his shoulder, so I'm standing. <laughs> oh, his ear is gonna right ring in like his a ear. Yeah. So right. we'll, we'll, we can count that as the aim. You're taking okay. the aim. Do I sprout aim. wings that knock the rifle off my shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Blake is gonna be deaf as fucking one here. <laughs> All right, so uh, depends how long the barrel is. The I probably is wouldn't let you put it on my shoulder. As soon as I feel it on my shoulder, I'd probably knock it off. No, because you don't want to mess up the shot, Blake. I wouldn't give that shit about the shot. <laughs> Blake's a little more selfish than that, especially when it comes to you, Luther. Fine, <laughs> fine. So when he when he knocks it off then uh, luther just sort of like kneels next to him uh and and takes the shot okay so uh, and i kind of cover my ears and like crouch a little <laughs> 2d 20 right 2d 20 difficulty one ba, 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 the two, so i rolled uh five and a, a five and a 16. uh the five okay. is a success so, the 16 is not okay so five is a success so uh, what how much damage does uh rifle do um, Mosin Nagant, that is, uh, it's a 762 by 54R, so it, the bullet's like this. Uh, <laughs> they're yeah. big. Let's, I don't have it right in front of me. Let's go with free stress. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, uh, so I'm going to roll, wait, I'm going to bring up my cheat sheet so I don't continue to bother you. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to roll three D6s, right? Yep. And, yep, got it. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so that is a six, which is a one plus effect, yep. a four, which is nothing, and mm -hmm. a one, which is a one. Okay. So you you uh, you you fire, clearly hitting him, and he just kind of <coughs> he staggers back and uses the the weapon to kind of steady himself, but he is still up. God. Damn it. <laughs> he's Blake, you should have let me balance it on your shoulder. <laughs> no. Dude, you were totally going to shoot me upside the head and cut the side I mean, of me. And, no. We would never do that. Yes, you uh -huh. would. You don't give a damn, Luther. Um, shit. Does Jacques shoot him or does Jacques go and help? Steve? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, he clear, he looks like he's going down, but he was tougher than he looks, right? Like, do you want to... Hey, mm -hmm. how much damage do we think a stick of dynamite would do? Uh, would definitely kill Snake, who's on the ground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. Damn. All right, okay, damn it, okay. Um, well, I don't know. Would Jacques be Wait, able because to... Because Snake got shot by us. Like, he was in front, but he was still 10 yards away. Would I be able to lob a stick of dynamite past this guy back far enough behind him? I think the blast radius won't get Snake. Yeah, you would know enough about. Okay, then I'll do that because that's much better than shooting a <laughs> an FNFAL at this guy. <clears throat> so I will do that. You hear the, the faints of dynamite. <laughs> Efficiency in action. 
action. Uh, what difficulty is this, Peter? Uh, it would be a, a difficulty two. Two? I am going to... Because we got trees and... You're I'm going to use a wood. fortune to auto-succeed one. Oh. Okay. Or is that a double? Is that an auto crit? That's an auto crit, yeah. Okay, nice. so I, I just succeed because I really don't want to kill Snake on accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how many times? Cares so, you can, so, so one, that'd be one fortune. So, uh, you could roll the other dice, and if you succeed, you can add it to your momentum pool. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. We'll go ahead and use the fortune point to auto succeed because I really yep. don't want to blow up Snake on accident, but I also really want this guy dead. And we're going to see if we get some fortune. Oh, yeah, we got some fortune. That's uh, coordination plus engineering. Uh, so that's 14. I got a 10 and a 3, so we're Gucci. We got two more momentum, boys. All right. Okay. Should we just spend it so, right away and keep the turn on our side? You, yes. Uh, you it, it depends on if you die. stick a dynamite. And this guy's standing there, and he just kind of looks at it as it goes by and watches it land and then just kind of looks at you and then boom. <laughs> Bang, uh, doobie stored, bitch. <laughs> and you guys are all hit with, like, snow and pieces and parts of him. Suck, baby. Did it. Now I will attend to your wound, Snake, which you're whining on the ground. <laughs> Snake's unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Jacques will go and address Snake's uh, machine gun fire wounds. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, what is that? A stabilize? Uh, let's see. For wounds, where is wounds at? I also, due to my lifesaver talent, get a minus one difficulty to all stabilize. Um, that would have to be like a first aid. Or surgery. <laughs> surgery. Man, people really <laughs> wanted like cut legs off and stuff. Well, I go in with a pair of forceps and I retrieve the slug. <laughs> and then we suture the wound close. This is how it's done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Injuries. Uh, you may really suffer an injury. Da 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 da. That. Um, let's make uh, do coordination in medicine. All right. Difficulty one. I have a minus one to all stabilize slash revive due to my lifesaver talent. Okay, so it decreases the uh, difficulty. Yeah. So you that's auto. So you automatically oh, nice. <laughs> uh, get him back up. You are all good to go, my friend. So what does that do to my stress and injuries that I wrote down here? Um, we'll say that for your stress, that puts you back down to zero. But you do have an injury, so I'll just yeah. have to let you know. I believe it takes is. time to fix the injuries. Like, you got to yeah. spend a little bit of time. Okay. Is there anything left of a body to loot? <laughs> yeah, there's pieces of it. Toast. I like. Is there a pocket like laying around somewhere? Or, like uh, you can find, find the backs. <laughs> you just find the back of his pants. Like, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Luther finds a pack of smokes. Yeah, Luther's just sort of like sifting through the uh, he's bloody, after that panzer chocolate he's sifting <laughs> through the bloody detritus that is lying all around yeah, it's, kind of humming under his breath i'm pro sit i'm pro sit there come here. never mind that would explain why this guy took so much to go down he's he's eating some panzer chocolate yeah for sure like that's exactly <laughs> he's what all messed out like read my mind right like that is exactly what luther is looking for right like I, yeah yeah <clears throat> 
13 uh, will kind of like, like there's one in the, there's one in the tank. In the tank. A Panzer chocolate or another German? <laughs> <laughs> there's like What's halfway up the tank. Like. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> another, another soldier. Oh, wow. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jacques speaks German. Uh, he will, he will uh, holler out, "Come out with your hands up if you wish to live." Um, you hear the tank starting to like start up, like somebody's turning it on, like crank, and then it cranks up all the way. The oh, turret 15. begins to move. Run like hell towards the tank. You said it, it cannot was, shoot straight down. You said it was disabled. It looked disabled. The turret is moving. It's not physically moving. Uh, oh, well, everyone run towards the tank as fast as we can because it can't shoot straight down. Okay. It can't. The turret don't depress far enough. As soon as he says <laughs> that, I run. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm Bullying already on the, the tank because I thought that 13 said there was Panzer chocolate. I was climbing. I was climbing up the side of the tank. That's right, oh. Luther. Tear it, tear it apart with your bare hands. It's got chocolate yep. in there. Exactly. Yeah, 13 would have like, uh, like ran and then like leaped up onto the, to uh, the tank, <clears throat> and start trying to like rest the top, the hatch open. Yeah, this is a Soviet T-34, probably, if it's a Russian tank. So the only guns we have to worry about, the main gun, there's a coaxial gun right next to the main gun, which is just a little machine gun that's just in line with the barrel. So it, it can really only just, like, barely turn. And the only other guns that are on that tank is if it does have a mounted gun on the roof or there's a hull-mounted gun in the very front of the tank. So we should be safe from the sides and back. But this universe could have T-35, which has the extra gun you don't know about. This is true. <laughs> Keep off! Keep <laughs> off, officer! Keep off! <laughs> this is what Luther's yelling. <laughs> okay. Experts. Experts. Is there like a slit where maybe I could stick the machine gun in and shoot the people inside of the tank? <laughs> uh, there's a viewport finder for the driver. There's a viewport finder for the gunner, and one for the side gunner. Those are all one right for the next to the machine guns. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't want to be within shot of the machine guns, though. <laughs> but the driver, uh, I have no problem shooting. Uh, the driver's side is right next to his viewport. Yeah, so here's the here's the driver viewport. Here's the machine gun right next to it. So he could probably <laughs> turn it and still shoot you. It's like a little ball turret. They're they're really interesting. I like military history. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you want to give me insight observation, like. Okay. Well, this one is damaged. Maybe there's a hole. Dif difficulty one. Oh, that's not good. Double elevens. I don't think that gets it done. Nope. Nope. Failed. I'm like looking. I'm like, this thing looks like a big piece of metal. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, the viewfinder stuff, even the one is bent, but you couldn't get a weapon in there. Okay. Just throw a grenade down the top hatch. Right. Like, yeah. Give <laughs> off. That would cause a, a magazine detonation, which caused the turret of the tank to fly off. And it would be a very dangerous for everyone involved. Don't stand underneath it when it's falling. Well, how about uh, which way is the turret turning, Peter? Like, what, so, what yeah, way is the turret what, it turns currently? a little bit and then it stops. Okay. So, everyone run at the back of the turret away from where the main gun. And I will drop a stick of dynamite down the hatch and run like hell. <laughs> Actually, 13, I will hand you a lit stick of dynamite. You drop it down the hitch and you jump like hell because you can jump a lot further than I can run. Okay. Where are you going <laughs> to drop the, the dynamite? Uh, this should be the hatch on the top if you just yeah, close it. It's, it's locked. Oh, he closed it? Yeah, he closed it and locked it. I'm going to shoot the hatch. <laughs> oh yeah, you think the blue light special? 
That bitch melts yeah, through you, everything. Yeah, I mean, there's no role for that. You fire and, and, and put a hole the size of a softball in it. Oh, it's his perfect dynamite size. You hear a voice. <laughs> huh, I'm, if you leave me alone, I'll give you this chocolate I have in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have six bars. <laughs> Give me the chocolate. Or we will shoot Should we just again. see like we see like a shaking hand holding a chocolate bar out of the hole? Like. Give me the chocolate or we will shoot again. Ik sheets of vida. Keep yeah. out. I thought I had good negotiation, but this guy's got like a plus 20 in his negotiations. Well, <laughs> to be fair, Luther is working with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, wrong game. <laughs> it's a difficulty negative five to persuade Luther with the Panzer chocolates. Yeah, it's an <laughs> auto success. So so I'll a never couple, let it go. A couple square, like he throws up like a, a couple squares like out of that hole and it lands on the tank and bounces uh, onto the ground. Luther obviously scrambles back after it for sure. <clears throat> no, Luther, they're going to shoot you. <laughs> this is why that it came from. Man, man, ah. Uh... <laughs> ah, you speak this... English, do you? <laughs> Is, is this speaking... you surrendering? Is he speaking English or uh, uh, yes, broken English? <clears throat> Come out of the tank without weapons, and we'll let you walk home without killing you. <laughs> as long as you have more chocolate. <laughs> as if more chocolate, you must you must take it. And you will leave me alone. Yes, come out with the chocolate. You must feed it to our captain. <laughs> Step away from the tank. Because <laughs> I don't have much time, it will return. What will yeah. return? Uh... What? what is it that attacked you? Or that you are worried about it? He throws another piece of chocolate out and lands on the tank, bounces up. Luther obviously grabs it. <laughs> good, good chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> what attacked you and your men? Thor. No hey. one attacked us. What are you talking about? You hear you, you hear him uh, unlocking the, the hatch. Jack's like ready with a stick of dynamite in hand, like just ready, just in case something he tries. My gun's something. pointing. Luther's just standing there like this. <laughs> Come out of the tank and we'll call it off. So it opens and coming out. Uh, so he looks, doesn't look exactly like the other guy. He's got uh, a cloak, uh, like a heavy you know, a jacket. It's not a cloak of billowing, is it? No, he's not that cool. Okay, good. Just um, making sure. He does not have an armband like the other guy did. Black or gray uniform? Is black. Okay. Um, and he's got some tools, so it looks like he's more like a mechanic or something. Okay. And he's got in one hand, like, a bunch of chocolate bars. Again, Luther's just like... <laughs> uh, he, and he drops them into your hand. And he looks at you. We must leave now. What is it you are so afraid of, uh... Does he have any jewelry on uh, any or any black sun markings like the the that you know the the symbol that we had seen earlier? Um, his uniform, like his cloak and everything, and his you know his pants, boots, uh, look very similar to the soldier you fought. Like, okay, they 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 shop at the same store. Okay. 
Like the one that attacked us with the Mercedes or the one that we just killed? The one that you just killed. Okay. The one that kicked my ass. The one whose pieces are lying all around. uh, (laughs) Yes, I uh, sorry about your friend, but he did not surrender. Yes. What reason do we have to leave you alive? Well, I'll just say it's Geneva Conventions. I'm not Uh, on this planet. I don't (laughs) abide by conventions. But, uh, what is it you are afraid that is returning? And he just, he kind of looks and uh, he looks around and then points into the woods. And as you can see, stepping out of the, the trees oh, God damn is like a nine foot Viking uh, that seems to just walk like it seems to be incorporeal just kind of just walking through the woods right through the trees the or with a huge hammer to blake and he's like eric the red and uh we'll stop right there <laughs> uh, uh, you come to kill the nazis did you good friend <laughs> so good so good <laughs>